Just let me save you. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hey, it's that intro song I have. Dun, 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 uh, uh, welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, so here's the dealio. Here's the dealio. Let's dive on in. I can't show you guys anything yet for another 24 minutes. So if you guys have to do something or you want to ask questions right now, I can answer them. I'll go back through the YouTube chat. A lot of you guys have asked questions already. Very happy to answer them, okay? Very happy to answer them. I'm gonna go back through them slowly, okay? Um, the primary platform I use for chatting is going to be Twitch, but if you guys ask questions on YouTube, I might be slow to respond to them. I will come back to them, promise, okay? That's number one. Number two, I have been so busy this past week. Uh, welcome back, regular streaming community. How are you guys? <laughs> uh, normal people who pop into my stream regularly, how are you guys? How was your past week without me? Um, I wanna hear from you guys too, because I've missed all of you very, very much. Also, whoever gave the 10 gifted subs over on Twitch, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Um, also, congratulations on getting first TDW. Uh, normally I go in and welcome everybody, but there's quite a few today. Uh, thank you for following also everybody. I will get all caught up on all of this stuff, uh, real quick here. For the normal Twitch community, just so you guys know, green screen alerts turned off for today. Today's a day of education. I want to make sure everybody's up to date and, like, knows stuff. I don't want, like, a ton of stuff flashing everywhere and, um, cause a bunch of issues for everybody. So, that stuff's all turned off for today, just today only, except if you have a walk-on sound effect. So, and not regular people. Um, so, it, unless you have a walk-on sound from being a Discord hey, subscriber, this like this. Let yeah. this guy in. Yeah, like that one in, Swanee, like that one. Uh, I'm watching from South Korea. Welcome from South Korea. One of my friends moved to South Korea. He's an English teacher there. Um, I don't know, I don't know what city he specifically lives in, but I know he lives somewhere near Seoul. Um, let me get caught up here. Hold up, everybody. We're going to be jamming to some city planner plays, master planned music. Uh, we're going to be listening to mostly, I don't actually know. This is Northwood. So this is the uh, collection I use in all my videos. Um, let's see if I, there was any questions that I missed and then we'll get everybody caught up we do have an energy drink review to do before the start of the stream today for those of you who are new around here to my live streams we do a little energy drink review that the discord subscribers all vote on for those of you guys who don't know what discord subscriptions are it's the best way to financially support me and my content journey if we go over here to the discord this is where they're voting they're secretly voting right here but if you go up to the top right here we go to the server shop and we go here, you guys can subscribe to different tiers in here. This is the best way to financially support me if you want to do so. If you guys want to subscribe in any way, shape, or form, this is the best place to do it because you guys get bonus stuff from across all platforms. But you don't have to. I'm happy that you guys are here regardless. I just want to educate you guys on what this energy drink review is. We just basically do reviews and we do a tier list for energy drinks. I don't have the old and uh, the tier list brought up. So we, we can't show off the old tier list just so you guys know who have been here for a while. Um, but we'll rank it for sure. And then it'll be in the one that's going to go on Photoshop because the, uh, tier list website is kind of terrible. Um, when it comes to adding new stuff, uh, very happy to correct you if you're wrong. Thank you, TDW. Thank you for that. All right. Let me get caught up on everything. Uh, thank you for the gifted subs. The person who gifted the gifted subs really appreciate that. Uh, let's scroll up. Um, Let's see, what questions did I miss? Co code mods will be in this update with Paradox mods. That is something that is happening. So let's start there. I'm scrolling up. I'm going to go through everything. Uh, TW got first. There we go. Anyone knows exactly what time the update comes out? I don't know that they've exactly announced when it does. My assumption is either 10 a.m. Eastern time. Um, Who is that? Dads play too? Thanks for following. They do. Dads do be playing. Um, yeah, anyways, um, I don't know that they've exactly announced. I don't know. So either I missed that information. <laughs> uh, but my assumption is that it's probably 1 p.m. Um, I, go with 1 p.m. Assume 1 p.m. my time. East Coast, New York time. 
So whatever time 1 p.m. is tomorrow, 1 p.m. March 25th, 2024, assume it would be then. Go with that. Hint, hint, wink, wink. I don't actually know, but that's my assumption. It's usually when everything drops uh, on Steam. So <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> that's all I know, though. Um, do, 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 uh... Did you do update, update release? It will drop tomorrow, assuming 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Um, that's my guess. So we do have a new emote over on Twitch too, so that's cool. Welcome in Sunrax. Misspelled the first time I had lowercase L in the second one. Uh, do we know the approximate time the patch will drop tomorrow? 1 p.m. I'm thinking 1 p.m. I'm thinking 1 p.m. my time. Yep, we also have a new uh, Dancing Bear emote. Yep, we have the new Sussy Bear. Courtesy of Bad Peanut. Uh, I'm excited. I only picked up CS2 a few weeks ago. I did December because it was too buggy. Now it's also very exciting. Yeah, I think the game's in a really good spot now. Um, I have some issues, I guess, with it, but like nothing too like major. Nothing that I don't think is going to get worked out. But we have the German. Uh, so building style in this update? No. No, that's not coming out until the asset importer is complete and we can get assets onto the uh, Paradox mods. However, if you, uh, obviously, I know you've watched my videos because you've commented on a few of them, um, but uh, if they, they have a rudimentary system of getting that stuff into the game right now. So, um, it we I don't have access to it. I don't know what the import importer currently looks like in its current state, but it is actively being worked on and they can get stuff into the game. But I don't know the length at that point like i don't know if they function i don't know i i don't know anything else about it so um so i hate paradox for releasing this on a monday i have to wait a whole week to really get into the new features that's and you know what that's totally fair and who knows what um bugs will arise that have missed qa um or even our testing um we found one that was pretty bad <laughs> um so i actually might have to roll back a version today so we'll see how that goes um, hopefully that's doesn't happen because I found a workaround that works for me, but it doesn't work for everybody. So, uh, looks like the Tangia channel points are still redeemable. FYI. So they are, they are interesting. Okay. We'll just, I don't know. We'll just leave those for now. Um, I'll, uh, actually, you know what? I'll go through right now and I'll, I'll, I'll turn them off. I'll turn them off. Thank you for alerting me, law. Um, actually, I don't know which ones are. Oh, it specifically says Tangia. Yeah, let me let me disable those ones really quick, quickly. Anything that says Tangia. Whoa. With all rewards disabled, I don't want to disable all rewards. What? Why did it give me that warning on like one of them? That was really weird. Uh, I'm just dis disabling some green screen alerts that we currently have on the channel for people to redeem um, for the sake of making sure that today is like clear and well eligible for everybody. Energy drinks are 18 plus. <laughs> uh, what's the price? I don't think they've announced the price. I did, so there is a leaked image. I don't know the price. They've not told me the price. Um, if they have, I didn't read it. Didn't read it. <laughs> um but uh i did look at the uh there's a leaked image of the expansion pass that they've announced the uh waterfronts expansion pass and it's 49 dollars um on the microsoft store and if we break down everything that's included in the expansion pass it should in theory be roughly very close to the price of the dlc that uh existed for city skylines one so expect very similar pricing to city skylines one that's what I found, but I don't know the answer to that. That's me guessing. Uh, my question is after this new patch, will cars still do 90 degree turns on the highways? It's a great question. I don't know that I've seen that in my cities yet, so I don't know. Um, I have not really had a ton of time to play with the new update, if that makes sense. Like actually play on my cities. I spent all the time looking at all the new stuff, looking at Paradox mods, looking at the map editor. So I haven't had a ton of time to play. So maybe we'll do, we'll probably try to do some of that today. I did build the framework of a new city that I want to start on a new map that's exclusive to Paradox Mods right now. So that's really cool. And we can take a look at, um, they actually have an uploaded version of the trailer city that they had. So they specifically had a city for the trailer 
that they uploaded um, two Paradox mods that we'll take a look at um, today, which will be really cool. Um, which was built by another content creator. But uh, you guys will have to guess who it is um, until we see it. Do, 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 do. All right. So, yeah, we don't know the price. Pokemon Charles, good to see you. Uh, I'll be live on Twitch and YouTube on Tuesday as well, guys. So if you guys have any questions, if you have to leave at any point, uh, you want follow-ups or anything, the first off, this VOD will be live on YouTube. It'll stay live on YouTube. And then I'll be live here on Twitch and YouTube, just playing cities on Tuesday as well for CS Tuesday, as we've been dubbing it here. Popular board today, 75 combined viewers. Like, damn, dude, this is what early access gets us, dude. They pay us in clout. <laughs> They pay us in clout. Ponderosa! Yo, if you guys are still playing City Skylines 1, Ponderosa just dropped a new map onto the Steam Workshop. I haven't taken a look at it because I don't play City Skylines 1 anymore. Um, but there is a new map from Popular, Pond Popular Ponderosa on the Steam Workshop. And just so you guys know, uh, know for anyone coming in here lurking, watching, I cannot visually show you guys stuff until 1, which is in 12 minutes. Okay? So... Uh, I'm trying to get caught up on chat currently. Uh, normally, everyone's just on Twitch. I know you're... Yeah, I yeah, actually have people over there with you today. Uh, <sighs> yeah, so I don't know the price. Yeah, I don't know the price. I'm assuming it's very similar to City Skylines 1 based on the leaked... Oh, I guess, is it leaked? I don't think it's supposed to be on Microsoft Store yet. According to someone in my Discord... Um, went on to the Microsoft store and saw the expansion pack was listed there and they contacted support and they were like, hey, like, like, is this the official posting? Why can't I buy it yet? And they were like, I don't know why you can see that. You shouldn't be able to see that. So um, there it's public, but my assumption is that it um, is going to be similar pricing, but we'll see. We will see. I don't know. I don't know the answer to the price question. Um... But the expansion pass was included in the ultimate edition, right? Yeah. So if you, yeah, you don't have to buy the don't buy the expansion pass if you have the ultimate edition. If you have the ultimate edition, don't buy it. You don't need to buy anything right now. Uh, Disney dude, thank you for following. Welcome in. I'll thank all the followers here in a minute as well. Uh, I really like to fix vehicles constantly changing lanes for no reason whatsoever. Uh, yeah, I uh, I'm constantly in a never-ending battle with the traffic AI in any of the cities games. So. <laughs> Uh, the press release from Paradox of the DLC will be nine ninety nine. Uh, where do you have a link for that? Oh, you do. Okay, cool. Let me look. Let me click on that. This is good information. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Beach Properties will be available for PC. Suggested retail price of nine ninety nine. Okay, so Beach Properties DLC will be nine ninety nine. There you guys go. Thank you for that. They pay us in clout. No one ever pays me in gum. Yeah, I know. I forgot about that commercial. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, stay at home gamer, welcome. I was just ready to ask you that. Nice, yeah. What's up, Lane Grady? Did I miss the updates? No. So you missed the uh, me saying I've been busy all week and I haven't streamed at all. But that's about it. Um, the calculation that the expansion pass combined across nah, sixty six dollars, two radio, two dollar radio station, five dollar crater, ten dollar asset pack, and forty dollar DLC. Not sure if forty dollars makes sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. I went back and I went back to Steam database and actually checked the pricing for DLCs from City Skylines One. Um, I think I here. Let me pull up my actual math. I put it in my Discord. Um, it's in this thread right here. Hold. Um. Math I did was content creator packs were five ninety nine, so I'm assuming this asset pack would be would have been similar. I'm surprised it's ten dollars. Um, DLCs in City Skylines one were twelve dollars uh, to fifteen dollars. Well, it was sixteen, so it was thirteen to sixteen dollars, and then radios were four dollars. So off that, it would be like fifty one ninety two if you take all of the new content that's coming out. But as Woody has posted in chat their press release does say 999 USD. So that is a this isn't a content creator pack though. This is an official asset pack, which is not something that I really looked up pricing for because I don't know if they did an official asset pack in City Skylines 1. I think it was all content creator packs, wasn't it? So um that might be why the pricing is slightly different here. I don't know that $40 DLC makes sense either. Um 
based on the pricing of old the DLCs for City Skylines 1. So um I think it I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to my brain. Maybe $30 would make more sense, but $40 seems like a steep price. And I don't think I would recommend buying it right away if it was $40. <laughs> um that's for bridges and ports, by the way. We're talking about or bridges and ports? Yes, yeah, bridges and ports. Ports and bridges. That one. That one's coming out. Um but anyways okay i think we're fully caught up welcome in everybody uh i will be showing you guys off content in about eight minutes um so that'll be cool i'm very excited to show you guys off paradox mods um we will see if everything's working there was an issue i developed a fix myself they gave us a rolled back version of the game i gotta figure out if i have to do the rolled back version or not we'll see we will see some mods broke on the rolled back version because they're updated to the new version. This will all hopefully be cleared up by the time the game launches tomorrow because we are in early access to the build. Um, and sometimes QA stuff just slips through the cracks. So, uh, and also all this is in beta. It's very uh, obviously in beta. It says that everywhere. So, um, and the modders have been doing a phenomenal job um, getting all the kinks worked out. So, uh, if you guys see modders anywhere in chat today that you know have made mods, give them some love. Um, like TDW, for example, who's been an absolute fucking workhorse in the in in our early access Discord. Um, <clears throat> so, well, game seems maybe thunderstorms still work. Yes and no. Depends on the mod. So, like extra landscaping tools stuff might still work. Might. Um, anything made with ploppable Rico might be fully broken. Um, anything made with find it might be fully broken. Um, and that is because those mods are not ready yet. But once those mods are moved over, those saves should or slash might still work. Um, we'll see. Um, lots of great maps start over on, but, um, I'm hoping that a lot of them are saved because I would like to continue my city that I had been building on, uh, Anoki, New Zealand map, uh, by Rafter Man, which is pretty cool. I think I just get it without playing. Uh, I bought the Ultimate Edition. That's how I interpret it. Yeah, yeah. If you have the Ultimate Edition, you just, you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to buy anything if you have the Ultimate Edition. Don't buy anything more. I've installed all of my mods now. We'll start, uh, we'll start afresh in the new patch. I think it's a great time to start afresh, but. What's your favorite mod? Uh, will you tell us in seven minutes? <laughs> we have an NDA countdown. Oh, my favorite mods move it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But that's only because Skive isn't a mod, right, TDW? Right? Right, TDW? <laughs> what does Move It do? Uh, so, uh, Move It is a mod from City Skylines 1. It just, like, basically allows you to move and manipulate any object, network, stuff like that. Before we dive in, guys, we have an energy drink review. So, hold on. We got, like, five minutes before this. And we I, I promised, I promised my community, my Twitch community, an energy drink review that we normally do. This is Rainstorm kiwi blend okay rainstorm kiwi blend um fda regulated beverage i don't know why it actually says that on there i've never seen that on an energy drink in my life um i maybe that means that their claims are all fda approved i have no idea thank you for the bit thank you for the singular bit <laughs> that stuff is bad for you yeah we all have our vices um it smells really good very kiwi it smells like a kiwi like hard candy if that makes sense never any high fructose corn syrup or artificial okay what is it sweet in there sodium citrate blah, blah 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 caffeine how many milligrams of caffeine that's the important thing here today that's the thing we always look at 200 milligrams that's a fucking lot holy shit uh 10 calories it's vegan. It's kosher. Accelerates your metabolism. I've been seeing a lot of energy drinks claiming that they accelerate your metabolism lately. How much sugar? Zero. Zero sugars. Navid? Don't make me turn it off. Don't make me turn off alerts. Don't make me do it. I'll do it. Don't test me. What's the is used? I don't know. I'm like smelling it. Sorry. I'm like fascinated by the scent of it. 
Uh, Succularose. Succularose. I don't ever know how to pronounce that. Very common one in energy drinks. Very common. That's the sweetener. Let's try it. I appreciate the bits, though. That is fucking delicious. This tastes like something. I can't, I, dude, this tastes like something else. This tastes exactly like something else. Sponsored? No, we do a bunch of different ones around here. We have a tier list I normally use, but I don't have it ready today. Also, we're kind of running out of time before one. I, this tastes great. Gamer! Welcome in. How are you today? What does it taste like? I don't know. It tastes like something else I've had. It's like a creamy kiwi flavor. The creamy is not like a bad thing. Don't mistake that. I can't place this flavor. It's delicious, though. I will, um, for everyone who's in my Discord, I will do an updated tier list tonight and post it in the Discord um, with this on it where I'll deliberate in my own head. This is very good. This is this tastes very good. At least. A big fan of it. We can have a further discussion about this energy drink on Tuesday. But um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, no wheel spins today also, guys, from people who are coming over from the Twitch community and know what I'm talking about. Drink an orange pineapple V8 energy drink. It's really good. I have been suggested the V8 energy drinks quite a few times. I haven't found one yet, um, but I will pick one up and add it. Uh, the Discord subscribers vote on it, so um, we'll see how that goes. Oh, oh, TDW. <laughs> that looks fucking... Okay, I like the little circle wheel you got going on there. I like the little circle wheel you got going on there. I'm washed! 3D, thanks for following. Welcome in. Uh, let me thank all the subs, or all the follows, before we uh, dive in real quick. Uh, anybody who's subscribing on YouTube, I am sorry. You guys don't get alerts because I was having issues where people were subscribing after watching my video, and it was, like, a lot. Um, so I turned them off a long time ago. Uh, so let me see. Woody Red, thank you for following. Navid, thank you for following. Martin, thank you for following. Dad Plays 2, thank you for following. I already thanked you, Disney Dude, as well. I thanked you as well. And I am Wash, thank you for following. Thank you guys for following on Twitch. So, anyways, let's uh, start diving in. I can, sh I can show you guys stuff. Um, TDW, can I show off? Are you still in chat? Can I show off uh, Skive? Can we start with Skive? Me and I said pet ten dollars and everything else. See us pricing except for the expansion and got thirty two. Still not that great. Thirty two dollars. It's definitely not thirty two dollars because the expansion pack is forty nine dollars as listed on the um um X on uh, the Microsoft stuff. I don't know. If, I don't know if TDW is in here, so we might just have to launch the game as is. Yes, I can show off the map editor. I can show you guys off pretty much everything starting right now. It's 1 o'clock. It is 1 o'clock. Let, let me just double check my NDA embargo real quick. Real quick. Let me just check real quick. As of Sunday, March 24th, 2024 at 1 p.m. That's right now. Videos and live streams. All right, here we go. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. I have the in-game music on just for today. Um, Is the mods up currently playing on uh, G GeForce Now? Okay, so this is, I want to be, I want to, I'm going to remind you guys this a lot throughout the stream because one of the things I was reminded that by showing this stuff off, it does lead to some confusion that this is available for everybody already. This is, again, an early access preview. So I was given early access earlier in the week. I have had a little bit of 
time to be able to show this stuff off uh, throughout my YouTube videos throughout the week. And now I can show it to you guys off via a live stream and other videos fully with like stuff today. So um, after you guys are done watching me, I'm sure you guys there'll be a Biffa video probably. Well, I don't know. Biffa's, if you guys didn't see Biffa's um, tweet, um, he does have scarlet fever, which is not good. So if you guys see Biffa, make sure to give him some love um, because I'm sure that's not easy. Um, to, I don't know what the details of Scarlet Fever, but um, he has been struggle bussing, so I feel very bad for him. So make sure to give him some love. Um, but City Planner Plays probably has a video. A bunch of other content creators probably have a video. But it is 1 p.m., so guys, I can show you guys off um, anything at this point. So I think I don't know what else. I don't know what I can't. Um, uh, I can't share the Discord that I'm in. I know that. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, here we go. So, it's the beach properties of the new splash screen, new waterfront zone, a slice paradise, new waterfront zone for European theme, gives uh, your city a touch of south, uh, southern European coastal city charm, and a new iconic fence around the yards that helps tie buildings together with a new regional style. So, not only is there new buildings, and I have a save file that specifically shows off the new stuff, um, I, there's also a new fence, which I don't know what the fence is. We can try to find it. Um, there's not a really good way in the object menu to find all the new props and assets and stuff. So, um, it was used it only because uh, early access period up today. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, if you want my honest opinion about the game so far up to this point, um, I think if you slap an early access tag on this game, I don't think, um, I don't think it would have gotten as much um, uh, hate because I think there's a lot to this game, and I think that there is a lot for this game to grow into and i'm seeing a lot of that with modders now especially so um yeah i'm very excited to see where this game goes especially seeing what some of the modders are working on behind the scenes i was helping another group of modders before all this got announced um test uh, a new mod i think it's uh, moose showed it off so it's uh, extra landscaping tools 3 was crazy that update was going to be crazy but they've delayed all that because of paradox mods so um, but uh, Triton Alpha is working very hard to get all that stuff on there. There is a version of Extra Lane Scheming Tools that will be available on Paradox Mods that we'll show off here in a minute. So, um... <clears throat> You save on the expansion pass, that's why it's $49 on Microsoft? Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. Um... It's only 18%, though. You save 18% with it. But I also don't know if that means like, it's a sale price. Uh, it, not a lot of it's super clear yet, so... External mods will still be supported. Have you tried any of the Thunderstorm mods which have already been uh, updated in the new patch? No, I have not had time to. Um, but because the game version is different, I have not. That was the main reason why I tried to avoid doing it. Um, if they ever update the Thunderstorm ones to the current version, then maybe. But it seems like most modders are interested in getting their stuff to work on Paradox mods. So Thunderstorm might never get updated. So, we'll see. Um, yeah. How hard is it to make a, a mod? That is a great question. Um, I found it a little difficult making my radio mod that I had made that's up on Thunderstore. Um, which will be moved over to um, Paradox Mods. But, um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Anywho. Heavily modded city for now then, hopefully. Yeah, it's a lot of it is just like, it's with every update with City Skylines 1. We've all been there at this point where like a game update happens, your city breaks for a little bit, modders get their stuff working, then you can go back to it. So um, start a second city, it's my suggestion, until they get all those mods updated. Um, everyone seems really excited to get all their stuff working. Um, a lot of people are already in the process of doing that and have rudimentary versions to at least save cities. So that's nice. But anyways, North American theme brings an atmosphere of the Florida coastline to your cities, new swimming pools in the backyards to liven up neighborhoods and other swimming pools in the backyards for stuff. Um, let's see. So new residential signature buildings. So there's three signature buildings. Um, we're not going to go through all that. And then new vegetation. There's four palm trees. Uh, okay. I don't know that tree controller is um, up, but... Some modders didn't even release anything on there, like Cuboid with his Move It mod. Yeah, um, it's a lot. It's a, it is a lot for modders. Just remember, guys, it is a lot for modders to um, upload on multiple platforms because they need to be packaged differently. And be with Paradox mods, you 
really need to use the official modding tools now, which were not fully available for the Thunderstore users. So, like, there there is some back-end rebuilding that they have to do. So, um, but this is the right way to do things. It's the official way to do things, and it will make these mods work more seamlessly in the long run, which is also really good. So, uh, let's dive straight into Paradox mods. So, here we go. This is the splash screen. So, you get you just gre greeted with, like, a featured screen right here um we've showed off images of this if you guys watch my youtube videos this is basically it um again paradox mods has been very fast for me loaded right in if i want to download a mod i just click you can just click the button in the top left here um tells you the size how many people have downloaded it i hope that this eventually the splash screen for the mod so even if we go to browse here then it shows you likes because the featured ones should in theory be good mods um because they're featured so they don't have likes on this screen. I don't know if they intend to put likes on this screen. I don't know. Um, I've gone back and forth on whether I think I want a, a star system or a dislikes because if a modder pushes an update that breaks it for like an hour and then they fix it really quickly, they could get review bombed and that's not, not necessarily fair or vindicative of how good the mod is. Um, so I do wonder um the best way to do that i don't know if like a time management thing like where it's like the most recent ones get more heavily weighted or not but um yeah one platform is more than enough and yeah the official way yeah and this also allows obviously for other platforms such as uh oh did oh rafter man released his oh i'm so excited for this okay i'm so excited to take a look at this map holy shit. <laughs> okay um uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute um this is oh boy i've been uh seeing inklings of that for a while i'm very excited to see that um yeah so uh let me get caught up and see if i missed a question i don't think i did uh make your map like with florida west palm beach <laughs> welcome back larry um What's the easiest mod to make, like a, a code mod? Uh, I would, I mean, like, no, the code uh, code mods are are definitely not the easiest mods to make. Uh, I would say that the easiest mod to make is probably like uh, an extension mod of another mod. So, like, for example, if um, here, here's a really good one. So right here is extended radio mod by Triton Supreme. Uh, Triton's the maker of all of the um, extra mods, so extended radio and then extra landscaping tools. Um, you can build a radio station off of this mod. That is where I would start. Yed! Yed, welcome in, buddy. How are you? I would start off with that. If you're going to get into modding, do that one. But anyways, yeah, so you can, search, uh, you can search for mods right here. You guys just saw that function. There's filters over here on the right. There's not that many as of right now, but I don't know that those are necessarily all necessary right now until we get access to assets that we need more filtering down the line right because we need to filter out oh i want a library or i want like trees or i want um a prop right um so those those extended filters aren't inherently necessary yet yet they will be though and i i hope that they will definitely be adding way more filters to this list but as of right now this is kind of all we need because like code mods maps um, Captain Holmes, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, does anyone know where I can get height maps for the UK? I've tried several sites, but none of them had data for the UK. Did the site that I linked in my, one of my older, the map making YouTube video, Charles, have it? I would look in, I would look there first. Um, go back to my map editor one. Well, King, how's it going? Dude, it's going pretty good. Busy. Very busy. Very busy. Thank you for following. Cavity block. Um, very busy. But we we thrive in. We need more train stations and subway stations. I don't know if you guys saw uh Bad Peanuts subway station that they uh showed off. Or not subway station, train station. I did show off a subway station terminal um that also um they're working on for the asset editor. Um because you can make your assets. There's room rudimentary system um that some people have early access to where they can show off that they hey, we have assets in the game, but um that information is like as much as I can give. I don't know anything more about that other than that. They've posted that publicly. Um, that's not even an NDA thing. I just don't know. Uh, but we know that they can get them in the game. That's as far as we're at. And so they're coming. It's a matter of how long. Um, now that Paradox Mods is up, the team can really start working on um, asset importing. So Tom, thanks for following. Welcome in. 
Um, so that's where I'm at. Uh, is extra road tools mod available? The one with the keys? No, that is currently not on, th on Paradox mods. I don't know why, though. I haven't heard. I don't know if that's because that mod creator didn't have early access. I don't know if it's because they're still working on it. There were some pretty significant bugs with it beforehand. Um, so, um, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. I didn't see it. Um, maybe it's up there now. What mod? The, uh, the one where you can, uh, extra road tools. What's that one called? Extended road tools. I haven't seen that. Yeah. I don't know if the Thunderstorm version might still work with that after this update. It might not. I have no idea. Um, haven't tested. Maybe we could test today. I'm um, excited for transport tool I saw. Managing metro and tram lines. Rather annoying in vanilla version. Yeah, so Clyte's right here, the extended transport manager. These existed on Thunderstore for a while, and then Clyte took them off. But now they're available. Um, I don't think. TDW, can I show off Skive? Because Skive is an application, not a mod. So I want to make sure that I have your permission to do that. <laughs> yeah? All right. I've showed off enough screenshots of your um, version. Anyways, this is the new Skive, guys. So Skive is like an extended mod manager that um, City Skylines made, or that City Skylines, the TDW made for City Skylines 1. Um, so it has a lot more uh, features. What's your version? Probably not up to date. It's probably the rest is A-OK. -okay. okay. All right. So... TDW is actively working on this. More will come. TDW has more access to Paradox mods, so Skive should be a lot better than it was in City Skylines 1. If you had issues with it, give it a shot in City Skylines 2 because Skive can, or TDW can like actively work with Paradox mods people to like get it in a better state. Um, but Skive is like an additional launcher for City Skylines, one that you can use, Mod Manager. It's an all-in-one tool, has compatibility board, uh, report built right in. So if you ever have issues where like, I don't know why these two mods aren't working together, Skive's a great place to do that. Um, if mods are broken, if they're missing dependencies, assets that don't have certain things, um, Skive is a resource that you can use for that. You can manage collections in here. For City Skylines 1, you could even share your mod loadout, which you can't um, do in like a bunch of different ways. You guys can see some uh, Paradox Mod Showcase, so there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, yeah, Tree Controller is now available as well. I need to make sure I download that because um, that hasn't been available throughout the early access. That means Yen Yang finally got it moved over, which is fucking great. Yen Yang is the mod father. So, um, do you know if the same mods will be available on console? Uh, we don't know right now. You are on, uh, 0 0.8 in the bottom left. I'm on 0.1.16 beta. That's the version I'm on. TDW. Um, we don't know. We don't know because they changed their language in no code mods to the, they don't know. If you watch my most recent video, our code mods coming to console, um, on my channel, I go over their new Q and a that they did where they were a little hesitant to say that now. So, um, I don't know. It doesn't seem like they know. So that's a good thing. I think because that means it's not a no anymore. We'll be talking about performance part of this update or only about the mods. Um, I can talk about the performance part. I cannot share the patch notes. Um, and I want to reiterate that this is not available for everybody right now. You guys cannot access any of this yet. Um, it will come out tomorrow. I think at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so. Works for each other on my desktop. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't play City Skylines 1 anymore, so I unpinned it. But, yeah, it's sitting there. That's how I'll launch City Skylines from here on out. But um, go to the Paradox Mods tab and subscribe to Skive. Oh, okay. Is that how I update? Let me exit out of Skive, then. Inside of Skive? Oh, jeez. Okay, all right, TDW. Okay, all right. We're, we're already live troubleshooting mods. This is great. Okay. Okay. PDX mods in here. Go to Skive. Okay. Skive right here. Subscribe. Update available. Click here to update. Thank you. 
Thank you, GDW. Um, anyways, uh, I can talk about performance things that I've noticed. Um, I don't know if you have questions, if that will answer it. Um, I had really good performance before this update. So I don't know how helpful I can be uh, for you in letting you know what the performance changes are because I'm not allowed to share the patch notes directly right now. Um, and I don't know if I notice a lot changing on my end. So. Uh, I am now on the point eight beta. Oh, because it's because you're out of town and did not update it? Yeah, okay. Well, all right. Word. Perfect, let's go. Okay, all right. Um, perfect. And also, TW made it so you can resize and relay this out however you want. So if you want certain tabs bigger, smaller, things like that, you can do that over here. So if I want to... Um, well, I just reset everything. What the heck? All right, it's in beta. <laughs> You know? But, yeah, you can resize everything with it. Um, this was used in... Oh, wow. Stop City Skylines. What? Can I move this? Oh, I can make it a button. Ayo. Nice. Okay, cool. That's pretty nice. Um, anyways, yeah, this is the uh, City Skylines 1. Uh, this was available in City Skylines 1. It's now available in City Skylines 2. Want to show that off to you guys. The mod manager also has some, like, tells you if certain things are broken. Um, this is not up to date. Uh, TDW said, uh, he's, he's, this dude's doing a lot. So, um, right now. So, uh, but the compatibility report will be brought up to date, um, soon, hopefully. So these are, uh, warnings telling me, Hey, this is not up to date. This has cautions. This is broken. Um, stuff like that is available in, uh, sky. So if you guys haven't used sky for this skylines one, definitely suggest trying to learn it and use it. I will be working with TDW to create a tutorial for it at some point as well. So, um, we will show off the Move It mod. Yes, we will show this off. So Move It is uh, essential for City Skylines 1 for a lot of people. One of the really cool things about Paradox mods that I, I just want to highlight again is that there is direct links to uh, mod makers, Patreons, and PayPals that is available <coughs> on Paradox mods directly. So you can actually donate to them for all of their free hard work that they do to make the game as best as possible for all of us. So if you guys are ever in the inkling, have extra money, you want to give it... Um, do that to these content creators because these modders are working their butts off for us. Um, so yes, there is the zoning toolkit. It was broken at first when I first downloaded it, but they fixed it. Um, it's great. Uh, UI could use some work. Um, it'll get there. Love it. Apparently, for those of you who don't know, the zoning toolkit's been there forever. Um, it was just available only for like manual download in like their Discord. They never uploaded it to Thunderstore. So, <laughs> um. Yeah, that's cool. We have it now, though, so that's great. Um, you'll have it tomorrow, at least. So, um, yeah. So, how you get it? How you get what? How you get what, stay home gamer? Elaborate. Skive? Oh, you just download it straight from inside the PDX mod, so Skive is right here. You add it right here. It will, um, I th usually... With Paradox Mods, as of right now, you do have to restart the game. So you'll get a notification here that says notification. Um, I will show you guys actually right now when we download a new mod. So let's... Oh, you guys can see all the updates right there. It might even make us do it now. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, let's add... So let's let's remove Unified Icon Library and then re-add it. I think there's a lot of content creators using it right now, so let's see. Okay, so now you'll see right here, so it says list of uh, code mods changed, uh, game requires a restart, then you can click this and restart the game. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but basically you do that after you download Skive, and then when we relaunch the game, so we'll get in here in a second. What is Skive? Sorry, I'm new. No, you're totally fine. So Skive is an extended mod manager that exists. So it's kind of like, uh, you can call it a third-party one. Skive has been, or TDW, who's the maker of it, has been working directly with Colossal Order to get things working. But, um, so like, it don't think of it as like a third-party thing. Like, it is like an extended version of the first-party tools uh, where Skive can basically do uh, open source, like, 
uh, compatibility checking, make sure that mods work well together, make sure that things aren't broken because uh, Paradox mods will have a limited version of that, especially for a while, um, as we roll through beta for it and skive will have a lot of that information available to you so and especially when it comes to managing your mods and assets skive will be a fantastic tool for helping you manage all of that stuff um so anyways as you go through you guys can see that uh certain things were updated and then we can just go straight back into paradox mods and uh when you download skive it'll give you a big button up here that says download skive or it basically is just like fully installing it into your computer um and then that's that's pretty much how you do it so that's what skive is it's really nice I like Skive. Um, some content creators feel differently um, because it was... Uh, there are elements of it that were a little clunky in City Skylines 1, but those will not be a problem in City Skylines 2. New! Thank you for following. Welcome in. <sighs> um, so Skive is the first mod we should download and then restart the game. Uh, yeah, you could. You could do that because Skive is as, as an application. You can actually search through PDX mods um, in Skive. Uh, so these are like the PDX mods that I... Have, we're still working out the bugs uh, with the versions and stuff like that. Again, just know that there's going to be bugs. But in help and log, you'll be able to see your actual um, crash logs. So if you ever have issues with the game, um, Skive is going to be like the best resource to have to get that crash log information as well because it will quickly allow you to access it. Whereas like without it, you have to like dig through folders and then zip it and then upload it to Discord. Whereas Skive will just give you a zipped file and then there you go. Um, you have it off to like bug fix for whatever reason. Um, which is, you know, anyone who heavily modded in City Skylines 1 knows that. Um, but anyways, this is, this is Paradox Mods. There's lots of cool mods in here. I actually kind of want to go through some of the new ones um that i haven't seen yet so first off let me show you guys my current play set that i have before we dive into game so we have 50 uh 529 tiles currently um fort johnson is the trailer city map for um the beach properties dlc so this was the trailer city that they used for that which is really cool they allow us to see it um it was let's see if we can click on it created by the one and only yumble um yumble actually took a break from playing Soviet workers and resources to actually build this city. So, shouts out to Yumble. Link on your YouTube is expired. Oh, what the heck? Um, thank you for telling me that. Is it... Where were you clicking? Is it the one that's, like, linked on Discord? Or is it... The one in the description. Okay, never expire. The one in the description should work. It's the one in the about section. Thank you, Charles. I'll fix that really quickly before we move into this. But anyways, this is the playsets. So that's how playsets work. So you can basically have different playsets for different ways you want to play the game. You want a vanilla light version. You want a tropical version. You want a um, industrial playset for whatever you're building, a snow one. You can have different playsets. Um, you can't share playsets right now, but they are useful in determining like, uh, this is like my map making playset, right? This is this playset of mods, essentially. Uh, let me go, hold on a second. Customizations. That's, you're telling me that one doesn't work, Charles? Uh-oh. That's like a bigger problem. On my YouTube channel, if I go to my, my YouTube channel... And you're telling me if I go to the About tab. That one doesn't work? That should work, because that's the same one on Twitch. That's the same link. I might have to look deeper into that then. Um, anyways, for anyone looking to uh, 
come to the Discord. That's a new link. That should work. Um, can you speak to bugs, like postal bugs and police HQ bugs? Uh, so I can speak to them if I notice them. I can't talk about the patch notes, and I haven't played the game enough to check. We should take a look at the postal bug, though, because I know that the postal system was, like, gigaborked um, beforehand. So how about some music? So we actually have the menu music in the background right now. Um, we can turn that off, though. I do not have access to... Um, and we can play some master plan music in the background. Courtesy of City Planner Plays. Um, do... Keep in mind, though, I don't have access to the new radio station yet. I don't know if they wanted us to have it. They didn't get it to me. I don't know. I don't have a code for it. If they, if we have codes for it, I don't have them. So. Um. Oh! You guys ever see the pink... Alerts, those are from YouTube members or YouTube uh, viewers. Thank you so much, JLA, for the uh, $5. Hi, about the Ultimate Edition. I was wondering how I get my asset packs, etc. I bought from the, I bought it from a company. I can't remember their name. If you have the Ultimate Edition, it should say, you're launching it through Steam, I'm assuming. It should just automatically say that you have the Ultimate Edition and it should just give you the uh, bonus stuff whenever it is available. So if you're looking for the uh, Beach Content Creator or the Beach Properties Pack, that should be available tomorrow. So the new this is an early access stream. Everything that is currently um, you're being looked at is uh, early access and it won't be available until tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Discord and YouTube works for me. Perfect. That's perfect. Also, welcome in. That one's isn't valid too. Charles, that might be an issue with you then. <laughs> oh no. Um, I'm patiently waiting to see this video. I'm too ready for this. Well, this isn't a video, this is a live. Um, anyway, so here's a bunch of the mods. I can show them off now. Um, yeah, uh, a lot of them will look familiar to you. Some of the new ones uh, might be like achievement enabler. I don't think we, I don't know if we had that. I have it disabled right now. I wasn't sure if it was causing a bug. Um, FPS limiter is a new one. That one is pretty great. Um, so far, I've been enjoying that one, especially on the main menu. Um, because I have a 240 hertz monitor, so like limiting it to 60 has been very nice <laughs> for my graphics card. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that should just be a base game feature, realistically. Um, I hope they eventually just make it a base game feature. Uh, police HQ bug. If you place anything other than police station, patrol cars can no longer patrol and crime skyrockets. Oh. Interesting. I love how you clicked, uh, like started the music with a click of a button. Yeah, I also can like turn it up and down too. Pretty nice. For those you don't know, I have a degree in video production. So like I somewhat know what I'm doing. Sometimes they build things in super scuffy ways and they don't work right, but I can fix it. <laughs> 1 p.m. is midnight Sweden time, is it? Is it? I don't know. I don't think so. No. No, no, no. I think it's 7 p.m. Sweden time. I think it's 7 p.m. Sweden time. Could be wrong. Somewhere around there, though. Um... Anyways, we can take a look at it. Um, I do have access to the patch notes. I'm just not allowed to share them with you. That's it. But if I notice something that's been fixed, I can talk about it. I just bought the physical edition for 60% off from Amazon. Oh, and I got the second code to punch in for landmarks. Guess it works the same way with expansion pass. Oh, okay. Uh, I wonder if the map texture replacer mod will also be a part of this release. I haven't seen it yet. So if it is available, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I've been a busy boy, so I haven't been able to keep up with all of the mods yet. Uh, worked on my phone, but not on PC for some reason. I don't know. Okay, weird. Weird. 7 p.m. CST sounds more proper, but on the game. Uh, so I don't know why I even care that much. 
<laughs> okay. Um, it is so interesting to see that you can not share patch notes while Overcharge Egg did in his video. Did Egg share? Was that video from today? Yeah, okay, maybe we can today then. I did not clarify with uh, Paradox on whether or not I could today. 30 minutes ago, Egg might know something more than me. Um, I did not clarify whether or not today I could talk about the patch notes. Egg might have clarified. Um, I'm going to stick with what I know, though, for right now, unless I have been told uh, by somebody else who knows more than me, who I trust. Um, but if you guys want the patch notes, then go to Egg's video <laughs> uh, after we're done here. Uh, I hope he will not be punished. I doubt Egg will be punished. Um, CO is pretty good. Um, oh, CO and Paradox um, are pretty good about working with us. Um, if we ask a question, they try their best to answer it. If we make a mistake... Um, it's usually just a warning from what I understand. I didn't make a mistake, so I don't know, but that's what I've been told. Um, so, um, as long as we're not like intentionally making mistakes or do it a lot. So, um, I think if egg wasn't supposed to share it, they will get like a slap on the wrist at most. So, uh, thank you for following absurd or ab abjures what that, uh, What's the extra UI screen mod? Looks interesting. So this was actually a mod that was available on City Skylines 1. Or not, sorry, City Skylines 1. City Skylines 2 on Thunderstore for a while, and then it was taken away. Uh, because Clyte, um I don't know why Clyte took it away. The creator of it. Um, they took it away for a while. They brought it back. Um, it's this button down here. You guys should be able to see it down here. I forget what the hotkey is for it. It's like a little, little tiny thing. You should be able to see it. It's overlaying over the patch number um, for extra UI screens. If you guys download this one, I'm going to give you guys a full warning right now. If you guys download this one, you're going to want to go into the options. And then you're going, when you boot this game, if you have multiple monitors, it's going to freak out. It's going to freak out and it's going to black screen all of your monitors. So what you're going to want to do is then go into the extra UI screens mod and just enable use monitor one or whichever monitor is going to be your main monitor. You'll figure it out pretty quick. And then uh, restart the game after you do that and then should be good to go after that um if you want to use if you let's say you do like a seamless multi-screen or like let's say you're doing like an ultra wide monitor that might be really helpful for you to fully expand your game if you want to use all of your extended stuff so um and it's kind of the framework for all of clite's ui mods that they're going to be making i think yeah i don't think he should have shared it okay well shh. we're not <laughs> We'll keep that little secret between us. Um, um, let me let me look. Hold on a second. Um, world clock. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up really quickly. It is one p. It's one thirty-five here right now, in New York City. Let's add. Um, can I add a city up here? Yeah, let's do that. Let's add um, London. We'll add London just for like ease. Oh, London has already been added and cannot be activated twice. Oh, yeah, we do already have it. Okay, good. That's a good thing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So it is 135 right now at 1 p.m. tomorrow is when the update's supposed to come out. So if it's 135 here right now, that would mean that in London it's at 5 p.m. London time. And it will be at two thir or it'll be at two o'clock Tokyo time. I think that should hit most people on how to convert. So there we go. I think I think that should hit most people. That's when the update comes out tomorrow. It's supposed to. 
If it comes out earlier, they changed it. It's It was either pushed early or delayed. If it's not that time. All right. Uh, is Legacy Flavor on Paradox mods? No, it is not. None of Cities 2 modding stuff is um, on there as of right now. They made an announcement in their Discord about it. Um, they will be working diligently post uh, Paradox mods launch to get everything working. GMT is five hours ahead of US. We just went through daylight savings time and that's what's confusing me. So, Charles, that's the problem. We just sprung ahead. So everything's kind of like out of whack. <laughs> I thought it'd be midday European time too, Woody. I am definitely surprised as well. I am definitely surprised as well. We're going to. Um, yeah, UK Daylight Savings Time, uh, starts next Sunday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so everything's kind of going to be going on. You can show move it. Okay, TDW is yelling at me to show move it. Anyways, here's a scroll through of all of the mods that I currently have active in my current playset. This is everything that's in my current playset. Um, I haven't taken a look at any of the new mods yet, TDW, and I'm also on the old, the, 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 let's say the live build, TDW, so we'll see how this goes. Anyways, let's, uh, let's, let's show some, show, we'll show some stuff off, all right? All buildings. So let's show off all of the new buildings that are available with the, um, Beach Properties Content Creator Pack. Um, again, I do not have access to the new radio. Um, as you guys can see, here is the zoning mod, uh, toolkit stuff. I am allowed to show off. There's nothing, yeah, there's nothing against showing off beach properties, right? Yeah, I don't think there was. Um, right? We'll just move it over here, just to be on the safe side. I'm going to just double check my embargo. Sorry, guys. This is my first time doing an embargo for City Skylines, and I just want to make sure that I'm not. You can do whatever you want. Oh, okay, cool. All right, here we go. TDW says so. I can blame him. Um, Let's put that back on. Uh, what does anarchy do? Anarchy allows you to basically do whatever the heck you want. Yeah, so move it. Everything's working. So, um, I have anarchy on right now. You guys can see I changed out my chirper for a bear. This is not a mod. Um, I literally went into the game files and replaced the file and put a bear in there. Um, that is also, uh, we're going to be adding some better emotes to YouTube members. Um, if you guys are looking to subscribe to the channel to support me, um, my content journey, Discord's the best place to do it, but, uh, we will have built-in YouTube emotes that will be this bear in a bunch of different ways. We added some new emotes to the Twitch that are, uh, pretty nice. So there is that as well. But Anarchy basically allows us, so like, as you can see right here, gives us an error. We cannot drive a road, obviously, through a building, right? Well, with Anarchy, you can. So that's Anarchy. Uh, right. So that's Anarchy mod. Uh, they released Beach Asset to the game that now has a way to make a beach in vanilla. Uh, n so yes and no. So here we got some errors, some bugs, errors. There's new mods all the time and they're always having issues. Um, we can ignore that for right now, but yes and no. So with extra landscaping tools, the goal is to have surfaces built into here. If you guys don't know what surfaces are, um, we go up here to the object menu. If you guys don't have developer mode um, active, don't know what developer mode is, um, it basically allows you to have access to all the assets in the game through this menu screen. Um, but basically, you can just type in surfaces up here. Uh, extra landscaping tools will be coming out with like a beach, a full, really extended version of it that will ha allow you to have access to all the props and stuff like that that aren't currently available in the base game. But um, you can actually just uh, grab the sand surface from inside developer mode and paint that. And that's how you can basically make beaches as of right now. Um, this is the best way we got so far. Um, different color sands. Uh, and then extra landscaping tools will come out with better systems to uh, essentially work with those. Which one is surfaces? That one. 
Um, but anyways, these are all of the new buildings that are currently going to be available in the new DLC. This is everything. So these are the 60 unique assets down here. So each row is like a new, um, uh, a new level. So these are all unique mes meshes. So they're completely different buildings. They all look completely different as you like move down, right? So like this is different. And I know they don't kind of look it, but they are. If you actually like dig deep into the model, they're they're very different. Um, and especially as they upgrade, they get pretty crazy as you upgrade through. So these, this side right here is all of the European stuff. So these are all the new European assets. And then these are all of the North American ones. And these little options up here are the same buildings from down here put on different lot sizes. So like this building in the North American pack is actually on the, uh, what is this two by three and so they have variants that these are not included in what they talked about um so that we actually do get extra lot sizes other than just the original one so that 60 are you new unique mess meshes um but yeah again if you guys didn't notice from the base game we got a big upgrade in city skylines 2 in terms of um building quality like the actual lot quality for vanilla assets specifically they look a lot better, obviously, than City Skylines 1, and I'm glad to see that carry through with, um, I love this building. I absolutely love this lot. Um, they went really aggressive with the North American ones for pastel colors in a lot of the lots, which is pretty cool. So they also added pools. Um, there's some new fences that you can do. Extra Landscaping Tools is working on a way to get the fence networks in dev mode to work, so you can actually draw fences, um, which is pretty cool. Um, before I answer your question here, Woody, I do want to let you guys know that I am using FPS limiter mod. So I am locked at 60 FPS, uh, regardless of whatever I can, uh, pull on my computer. Uh, but, uh, you can actually find them here. I, I am doing a two PC setup as well. So, um, will there be an option to make your buildings historic? Uh, there was a mod for that, but, uh, a lot of that broke. So, um, expect a mod for it if it's not a vanilla feature. I know a lot of people want it, though. So, um, yeah. Do you know what will happen to the size of the update without the DLC? Uh, you know what the Oh, like the actual size of it? Um, yeah. Did you not see it plop the growables? Oh, I totally forgot that exists now. Hold on. One of the cool things about Paradox Mods is it's built directly into the game, so I can actually just search for it. I have it downloaded. I have it downloaded. Uh, this is a new mod by Algernon. Plop the growables. Very simple mod that uh, disables growable building zone checks. So this means that you can place them anywhere. You don't have to zone underneath them. So if you guys use developer mode to do any of this stuff, you normally had to zone. Um, now you don't have to. On zoning and off zoning per, uh, partially. Leader of the monkeys! Manny! Welcome. How are you? Um, so anyways, um, off zoning, partially zoning and incorrect zoning whenever they don't despawn. This allows manual placement of growable buildings directly without needing any workarounds, such as making them a signature building. So you have no reason to like need a historical building. So if you plop up a growable, it'll stay that way. It will not grow. Um, which I think is what most people want anyways. Note that the building will still require road access, including water, sewage, and function properly. They do not need to be perfectly aligned with the road, so you can, like, you know, the game automatically snaps all those pipes and stuff, so, yeah. Uh, I just hope that they fix the game and not rely on modders. Well, I think that there's a lot of progress to be made still, and I think that they're committed to making that progress from everything I've seen, so. Um, Piku, thanks for following. Welcome in. Uh, yeah, so it's basically Poppable Rico. Shout out to Algernon for getting that working um, with the launch of Paradox Mods. So, yeah, I, I, I'm i using that. You know what's funny, TDW? That's how I did this. I can dezone all of this. Obviously, it's going to yell at me for the power and water because I don't have power and water hooked up because I just placed all these for, like, showing people. Um, but <laughs> that's how I placed them. <laughs> Wasn't following on here. Now I am back to YouTube. Okay, have fun back on YouTube. <laughs> um, <laughs> if a mod also disables the leveling mechanisms, um, let's let's reread it. 
Let's reread it. Let's reread it. Mm, this allows manual placement of growable buildings directly without needing any workarounds, such as signature buildings. Note that the building will still require road funding thanks to TPB and the creator of the original Plop Growables for City Skylines 1. Great question. It's a great question. Doesn't explicitly state. DDLB, do you know the answer to that? No historic buildings, so buildings you plot might upgrade. Yeah. Good question to ask Algernon. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, if not, something's probably going to come at some point. Uh, official modding tools means a lot of the mods that you've maybe been hoping for or maybe took a while to get to Thunderstore should come a lot quicker. So if it's not ready right now, expect it to come relatively soon, I think. Um, we just have to wait for PO. I never used PO in City Skylines 1. Um, I, I, no comment. I have no comment. No comment on that one. I got nothing on that. But anyways, here's all the new lots. They're pretty cool. They have pools now. So we can place pools down. I actually, uh, let's take a look at it in the object menu. So on top of all of the, um, oh yeah, here we go. Swimming pool one. Boom. Swimming pool three. Look at that. So we have these new assets. I wish there was a way in object menu to, obviously we're not really supposed to have access to object menu, but um, I wish there was a way to actually go through and see all the new props that got added to the game um, because a lot of new props did get added with this update, but uh, I don't know how to see what the new props are. So just so you guys know, they said 70 new assets. So there's 60 new unique meshes for buildings, which you guys can see here um, each lot size is a new unique mesh right here and then these are variant lots so like the same buildings from these with different yards on different lot sizes that's essentially what these ones are up here and then these are the unique buildings we have the signature buildings which obviously we all probably know the signature buildings are down over here so these are the new signature buildings which we'll take a look at here in a second and then there's also four new palm trees uh and there's props which you can only access with the object menu right now. And I don't know how to find them. But they're there. <laughs> they're there. <laughs> um, so that's that's where I'm at with that. Uh, PO is complicated stuff, yeah. Anyways, uh, for those of you who don't know what Move It Mod is, you basically click this button down here and look at that. Now we can, uh, I don't know, drag roads however we want to put them um, after they've been placed, which is pretty cool. Um, there's different ways to do it. I haven't had a ton of time to mess around with it yet, but it does work. It exists. Here we go. Um, you can also, I think there's a bunch of keybinds for it. I haven't had tons of time to work around with it yet. And it's still, Q's still working on it. Let's just say Q's still working on it. So, um, you know, and it doesn't mean that it won't break buildings if you also do that because, you know, stuff's being worked on. So manipulation mode. So we can just grab one of these. So it's basically kind of like node controller as well. Um, you can grab the actual nodes here as well. You can grab buildings if you want. You can grab trees. There is a marquee tool, but I don't remember how to activate it. It's all that stuff. I think it's M in control. Yeah, M in control. There we go. Now we can move all those around. Um, it's early days still, but good signs. Good signs. Man, I can't wait. I wish I could take this week off of work. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm right there with you. I got early access as I was starting my new like freelance project that I do. I do freelance video production work for like companies, and um, yeah, that was fun. That was fun to have that dropped in my lap, which was great. I appreciate the invite and the opportunity, but like it was just like, man, I had a hard week. <laughs> I'm blown away. I was able to even get those videos out. Obviously, they weren't in a very timely manner, but. Yeah, it was a it was a wild week. <laughs> it was a wild week. Um, so I appreciate you guys all coming in and uh, watching the videos and showing support. Um, can move it also rage heights of bridges and stuff? Yes, I'm pretty sure it does. Hold on, let's grab. Um, oh shit, wait. So then I can toggle off. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, 
There it goes. I don't know how to scale it and make it go faster or not, but it does work. You can do that. So that's really nice. Um, again, move it's a game changer for actual network and node control. So if you guys haven't used it for City Skylines 1, definitely use it in City Skylines 2. <laughs> I wonder if the map texture replacement mod will also be part of this release. Uh, as of, I haven't seen it. I'll be frank. I haven't seen it. Um, I don't know. I hope it will be. Uh, there is something I want to take a look at, guys. So hold on a second. If we go over to Paradox Mods, there is a new map um, on, the, on the Thunderstore. So my newest city is is on this map right here. It's Lake Okonoki, um, New Zealand, which is a real place in New Zealand, uh, made by Rafterman and Z. Um, now, uh, Rafterman makes almost exclusively New Zealand maps. Like, it's kind of their whole shtick. Um, they like doing it. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're a great map maker. I love their stuff. I started my newest city on here. Obviously, that city's probably going to break due to all of the uh, mod updates and stuff like that. But they did release a new map called Black Dragon Canyon, Utah. And I don't know if you guys can tell by the way this map looks, but it doesn't really look like uh, grass. Um, so... Clearly, Rafterman found a way to take the screenshots with um, Map Texture Replacer. I don't know what the limitations... This looks so cool, dude. I, like, I, I was blown away. I think a lot of people were really blown away when we saw this map. Um, so this will be available for you guys to play on. I'm going to add it to the playset right now. We'll see if this breaks the game. It shouldn't. Um, the uh, there the newest update was supposed to make it so that map installing was a lot more fluid um, because code mods require a restart, but they were trying to make it so map mods didn't either. Uh, and this was a newer update that we got over the weekend. So it's added. No restart. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, also, there's zoning toggle. I do want to show off this mod as well. This one's great. So when building roads, obviously that's the default. We can select right up here. And now you can just see right side zoning only, left side zoning only, and none. Uh, we can also go to the zoning tool. So instead of building roads, we can take a road that's already existed and toggle zoning on whatever side, which is great. Obviously, this was a feature that existed in City Skylines 1. But I always like to remind people that that was a feature that was added to the game uh, late in its life cycle, right? And so it might have been not really on the roadmap for Sea Skylines 2 because they added it pretty late. Um, so expect that feature to eventually maybe come to the base game. I don't rule that out. Um, I expect it to. I don't know that for sure, but like I, I expect it to. Um, but that's the this is this is the mod that will do it for us for now. So um, that's where I'm at with that. Um, let me go back through really quickly before we leave this map and actually take a look at Paradox mods real quick and see what other mods I had downloaded that are newer. Um, Clyte's mods, we'll take a look at those. Those existed again on Thunderstore for a while, and then Clyte took them down. Um, Extra Landscaping Tools is basically on version 1.0. So if you guys remember Thunderstore, um, Extra Landscaping Tools 1.0, this is that version. Um, it, Triton had to roll it back in order for it to work with code mods, and he has to kind of build a lot of stuff from the ground up because now that he's building with paradox mods it's it's not really the ground up but like he has to like now adapt it to work with the official coding tools so um he has rudimentary version started should be able to download it and then get the ball rolling for that this one allows you to paint resources on the ground and use all of the in-game brushes that exist in the map editor in the default game so <coughs> <coughs> My city is still very Victorian, narrow streets, a lot of Victorian buildings, and we are very protective of them. So we will knock anything down. So traffic uh, is pretty bad. I just want to, but I want to build my city. Um, yeah, you're, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. Um, yeah, wow. Um, Clyte's address is a names mod. Again, this existed. Um, 
on Thunderstore for a bit. The FPS limiter is like kind of like one of the bigger new ones that I saw that's been really nice for me as somebody who like blows up my graphics card when I launch into the game. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Um, otherwise, it's a lot of the familiar faces. Move It's kind of the big one along with Skive, um, I would say right now. And then there's some new maps, and we're going to take a look at those new maps today um, before the stream's over. Don't you worry. Um, but those are the kind of the big ones. Um, we showed off Skive. We showed off Move It. Um, if you guys missed those, scrub back in the YouTube stream or go back in the Twitch VOD. <coughs> We've had FPS Limiter since July 2023, 20, I think. Y'all were missing out. Well, maybe they should have uploaded it to Thunderstore. Maybe they should have uploaded it to Thunderstore. And you know something, TDW? I think they, I really think that they should have uploaded it to Thunderstore because this mod is 15 kilobytes. That's what I think. This is delicious. If you guys missed the energy drink review in the beginning of the stream, we do those at the start of most streams. Um, this is Rainstorm Kiwi Blend. Delicious. Do you guys like artificial... Not, it's not artificial kiwi. Do you guys just like, like, kiwi apple flavored stuff? This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm in love with that. That might, that might get S tier on the tier list. We're going to update the tier list for it on Tuesday. I'm trying to, like, I tried to, like push that back as much as possible because we're, we're talking about all of this stuff today but um if you guys swing through on cs tuesday which we do on here where i stream on youtube and on twitch we started this a couple weeks ago uh where we just play cities the whole stream um on that day we'll update the tier list for everything so make sure you guys tune in if you guys want to see where i rank that one um it's gonna be high 100 grams of sugar zero grams of sugar thank you we only drink zero cal drinks around this household thank you very much I will take my sugar-free drinks that give me cancer. We all have our vices. That one's mine. <clears throat> um, better than smoking. Honestly, the only mods that matter to me are the landscaping mods. Just to scratch the, the detailing itch. Yeah, extra landscaping tools needs a little bit of time to start getting to where it was on Thunderstore. And it will, though. Yeah. Because you not bother with Thunderstore? Yeah, I know. It's crazy how no one else did it for Thunderstore. Yeah, I am also kind of surprised at how simple it seems. Uh, maybe it was just, I don't know. Maybe it was just the, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Um, let's go through the browse really quickly and see um, most recent. Let's actually sort through some stuff. So uh, Amy Polsey Funk has a Seattle map. Let's download that one so we can take a look at that one today. Map Bill Silverlight. What is this? It's your turn to play this metropolis of over 200,000 inhabitants. A city resembling Manhattan in the central, in the center of the map with a distinct neighborhoods, its business district, and a large central park crosses uh, crossed by canals surrounding it. Airport towns, countryside, allow you to finish the map as you wish. Map created over 25 episodes on YouTube. Okay, we have to download that so you can also upload save games onto thunderstore it's not just maps you can download save games as well which is pretty cool um you have to restart the game if you download a mod you don't if you have if you download a map save games we're gonna learn today <laughs> i think it's probably the same as maps i don't think you need to restart uh tree controller is new um obviously if you guys had thunderstore tree controller existed on thunderstore it seems like yen yang was able to get it working i'm so happy because i missed my um tree controller uh very much um colon fan co 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 in fan thank you for following welcome in oh no did my lights break uh oh uh oh oh there it goes we're good we're good everything's fine when did the region pack come? Uh, they will be coming when the asset importer is done. So, or at least like when they can properly get their assets into the importer, if that makes sense. There is a rudimentary importer. Um, I will pull it up right now. Not the importer, but um, proof that it does exist. Um, shout out to friend of the stream and maker of all of my bear emotes, Bad Peanut. Um, 
they tweeted this one out. If you remember my first asset, hey, that's me. Hey, please. Um, if you remember my first asset for City Skylines 1 looks like, then you may not recognize this completely remade suburban train station. No, this won't be available Monday. Again, new assets are not going to be available Monday. Really want to... New... Aside from the beachfront content pack, which you have to pay for, no assets will be available on Paradox Mods. Okay? I want to make that evidently clear. Evidently clear. But now focus on the upcoming update that isn't asset creation, but there's some big strides made to allow some testing. So um, content creators who have been working on assets are allowed to start sharing them off. And you can see right here that Peanut was able to get this in the game. So when my assets be available there, after the asset importer gets uh, more stuff done, it uh, needs time. So, but um, based on the fact that they can get stuff into the game and Paradox Mods looks as good as it does, I would hope soon. But we don't know. I don't know. I have no answer. I have no answer for that. Um, but as you can see, train station right here built into the game seems to work. Standing platforms um look over there yeah tdw i didn't have time to get that working <laughs> i <laughs> i didn't have time to get that working i had to come up with this gag where like i would have a green screen effect um built into my stream deck where like anytime somebody asked a question that i didn't know the answer to i could like hit it and then it would do like the uh like we have for cerveza crystal But for like, look over there! And then like, I would run away. Um, that would be the gag, but uh, I didn't have time to make it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But anyways, yeah, Bad Peanut has like, it imported, this was the first asset that they had made for City Skylines 1. Um, those of you who don't know Bad Peanut, they're a great person. I don't, like I don't have anything more to say about them other than that they're they're fucking great. Um, and this is their train station. I think they're like sleeping right now because they um, are on the opposite side of the world from me. But um, yeah, thirty four thousand views. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, let me exit out of this real quick, and then we can dive back into the game. So. Bad Peanut is a great person. True, Michigander. True. Um, so, yeah. Expect stuff to start rolling out because asset creators are making stuff. So, the moment you guys... Uh, the moment all of us will have access to assets on Paradox Mods, the moment we do, there will be stuff ready. Is, is the point I want to kind of, like, get across with that. Is that we can actively see them... Hey! Here's the stuff I've been working on, and it's great. DK's housing assets from City Skylines 1 are being imported over, so if you used any of those from City Skylines 1, um, they will be available in City Skylines 2, and he's, like, up them too, which is great. That's you? Wait, that's you? Oh, I didn't know that was your full username. I've always just referred to you as DK. Yeah, your stuff looks great, dude. I'm very excited. I've used a lot of your housing assets in City Skylines 1, so I'm excited to see those. Uh, it's just DK for short. Yeah, which makes sense. Um, uh, modders and asset creators who make good stuff uh, get VIP in my channel, so enjoy that. Um, my Tourniquet City loads up and runs. It's been broken for so long that I just gave up on it. Oh, well, it's probably going to break tomorrow <laughs> when the update comes out. <laughs> Uh, is lack of stations in the game? It's very limited at the moment. Yeah, and I expect that to obviously, you know, increase as the game's life goes on, you know? We got 10 years of cool stations in City Skylines 1. It's going to take a while to catch up. Um, so, anyways, uh, so we have some new maps. We have a lot of new stuff to look at. A, a lot of people uploaded, I don't want to call them junk maps, um, because not every map that's uploaded onto here has been junk, but, um... So a lot of people uploaded maps to test to see how um and mods too to see how stuff worked in city skylines too um all of ancient swan's maps are on here as well so if you guys liked ancient swan stuff ancient swan makes like uh historical recreations a lot of times a lot of them are not really like conductive 
for building a normal city on, but they're really cool art projects in and of themselves, and some of them are really functional uh, maps as well. So, uh, Owl's Back. I started building a city on Owl's Map. We'll take a look at this at some point during today's stream as well. Um, there's a lot of stuff to go over, guys. So, um, buckle up. We still have a lot more to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff available on Thunderstore. I want to show it off to you guys. Ancient Swan stuff is all up here. I think I can just scroll through this. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. Nyoko's mods are up. I don't use Nyoko's mods, but um, see Game World's brush size and limiter is on here as well. I didn't use this in City Skylines 1. I started to, and then there was a bug. Or not City Skylines 1. City Skylines 2 on Thunderstore. There was a bug, and then I removed it, and then I just stopped using it. Um, might be fixed. I haven't looked at it. Um, but uh, if you guys need like bigger brush sizes, see Game World. Brush size and limiter might be really useful for the editor, which we will take a look at today as well. Um, Roanoke's on here. Roanoke was a cool map by Ancient Swan. That one might actually be like really good for building. Um, Roadware remover. Anything else we're missing? Preserve photo mode. Image overlay. I think image overlay might be broken right now. I don't remember. It might be fixed by the time tomorrow comes. If you guys aren't prepared for mods to be broken on update day, um, I don't know if you've been living under a rock or just don't understand how modding works <laughs> in a lot of stuff, but, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I just read the previous dive diary. It sucks that mods won't be available on GeForce now since it'll be, I'll be out of town. Oh, since now, since I will be out of town till next week. Oh, sure. Oh, so you use GeForce now to play while you're out of town oh okay first time chatter hello hello welcome in is there assets no not yet there is uh the the beachfront properties pack but uh assets are coming they exist in some capacity some people have shown off that they've been able to get their assets imported into the game but the asset editor still has a little bit of work to do so um assets will be available day one once they're available uh there should be a workshop full of them um how many i don't know but there will be some on there um but that's not ready yet but yeah geforce now but um it so if you read the dev diary um watch my video on my most recent youtube video that i did on our console mods coming or our code mods coming to console watch that video because in the q a they do talk about geforce now in there it's a q a about like a bunch of stuff that was just like the big thing i noticed is that they've changed their language on code mods coming to console which i thought was very interesting doesn't mean anything necessarily but they changed their language on it um so it gives me hope that maybe co some select code mods might come to console platforms but um maybe not but possibilities there uh the important thing to remember from that side of things for GeForce Now is that they did say they're working actively with NVIDIA to try to get code mods. It's just more of a limitation of you're using shared hardware with cloud, cloud gaming. So downloading mods is a weird thing. It's a, it's a, it's a weird thing. So, um, but yeah, once assets are available, they already have some imported um, that uh, people are showing off. So um, once the workshop uh, is open to that, it should populate pretty quick. Um, so. <sighs> uh, can't wait to get into the map editor. Getting really bored of the standard maps. Yeah. Well, Thunderstore has a bunch of maps. Those maps should work on the new version of the game as far as I understand it. Um, they should work. They should move over. Um, I have all of my maps from Thunderstore in this game right now. Um, so if we actually go back to new game and I go to custom maps they're all still here and I've loaded into quite a few of them and they all still work so if you're bored of the original maps you can still download them from Thunderstore and they will still work on the new version of the game and you won't have any issues um, with them as far as I have found like if we want to load into um, I don't know why I, both of these say with snow and this one is not with snow but if we want to load into Spring Valley which is one of uh, the real chairs maps um, I am very excited to see what the real chair obviously makes more of. The real chair actually came out with a newer map recently that I have not taken a look at yet. And I feel kind of bad, but I've just been overwhelmed with early access stuff that I haven't taken a look at it. If you guys ever see the real chair on Paradox Mods, take a look at their maps because their stuff is awesome. 
Um, I have not been disappointed by a real chair map <laughs> um, before. But yeah, as you can see, this is, a, this is a map I downloaded off Thunderstore. Works just fine. Um, so if you guys want to get in early on the Thunderstore stuff. Ooh, I'm really curious about this. Okay. All right. So the real chair put in, as you can see, this is a, a dirt little two track on this on this map. It's a beautiful map. Seriously, if you guys have not taken a look at real chair stuff, go look at this is, I think, their magnum opus so far that I've seen. They have a newer, newer, newer map that just came out recently. I haven't taken a look at it yet. This is my favorite map they've ever done um, so far. Um, I like this map. It's actually buildable. It has really cool, unique stuff on it. Like these, they have some like rolly hills over here that you can build on. Really beautiful um, deltas over here. Um, built in wind turbines. The mountains up in here look so cool. Um, if you had like the lighting right and stuff, I think you'd take some really cool screenshots in these valleys. Um, and they have some really unique uh, features in it, like this little farmhouse over here, where it's like this little two track that leads down to this like farm. I'm curious if move it allows me to move this stuff. I don't think it will. No. So this stuff is like baked into the map. I have no idea how they did this in the map editor. Um, beats me <laughs> um but uh with move it in theory um you should be able to move some of that stuff but again it doesn't seem like move it wants to allow me to uh, move this stuff around so that's a little unfortunate but um yeah time will come time will come eventually but um yeah really cool map but anyways this is from thunderstorm that's why i wanted to show it off i wanted to load into that because it's a thunderstorm map it works on the new version for me at least um be mindful that if you did have mods downloaded on thunderstore uh, some people might have had issues uh, moving from thunderstore over to the early access build that we had um so just keep in mind a fresh install back up your saves back up your saves back up your, back up your saves back up your saves if you don't know how to back up your saves Go to your local little fo folder in app data. I'll show you guys how to do it really quickly. I'll show you guys how to back up your saves. Back them up. Then, um, yeah, I think maps from Thunderstore should work. Yes, they should. But I meant saves. Talking about saves. Back up your saves. <laughs> um, back up your saves. But when you move over from Thunderstore to PDX mods, some people had issues. Um, so just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Um, yeah. It's a bit annoying to download mods every time you start a session. Um, I don't really know what you mean by that. Um, I made like 10 cities on barrier islands. I'm not fond of the other vanilla maps. Yeah, you might find uh, a lot of them on the newer one. If you actually, it's the real chairs. If you like the barrier island map, you might like, um, which one by the real chair? This will be eventually, don't worry. It'll be up on, um, here eventually. Where is it? I don't remember the name of it. So I might need to scroll through it. Sunset Beach. You might like Sunset Beach if you like barrier map islands. This is available on Thunderstorm and it will be eventually available on, on Paradox Mods. Um, it makes they uh it's very easy to take a map from Thunderstore and move it over to Paradox Mods. So that's really nice as well. On GeForce Now. Oh, you're referring to GeForce Now. Got it. Yeah, you might actually have to do that. It, it, and that's a limitation of GeForce Now. Um, sadly, if that's the way they do it, I have no idea. We don't know anything about GeForce Now yet. So um, it's all speculation. We just know that they're actively working with NVIDIA to try to find a uh, ability to get it to work. Um, one of the, I guess, best benefits of Paradox Mods is obviously that it is going to at least open the door to every platform having the capabilities to access the Mod Workshop. Whether or not they can use it, like GeForce Now, is another 
is a whole nother bag of worms. But with Steam, you know, if you're on Epic, you can't utilize the Steam Workshop. So um, this is uh, helps make the whole space more inclusive, which is great. Big fan um, of that. Um, which is why I'm like, I'm very hopeful for Paradox Mods because I, I want that so badly for people who don't have the game on Steam, don't have a PC or playing on console or whatever um, to be able to, or like get the game for free from Epic or whatever when Epic gives the game away for free. People who have it on Game Pass, for them to be able to at least do this um, because everyone should be able to mod their game um, easily. And, uh, you know, Paradox is trying to set us up for success at least in that regard. Whether or not it's successful... You know, we'll all see, but. <clears throat> okay, wait, I, I, need, I, need to, I need to look at something really quickly. Sorry. <laughs> CDW. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you for that, TDW. Thank you for giving me a little laugh. Oh, uh, all right. Anyways, um, is there any cool desert maps? Absolutely, there is. Um, so right now, map texture replacer is not on Paradox mods. I want that to be evidently clear. We do not have access to a map texture replacer. However. There is this gorgeous new map by Rafterman NZ. Who is Listen, there is there's a lot of great map makers, okay? There is two map makers right now when I'm like when I first think best map makers in City Skylines 2, there's two people right now who immediately pop into my brain where I'm like every single one of their maps has been knocked out of the park. And there is a third who I think needs some more time to cook because they only have one map up, and that's Riri. I don't know if Riri's in here um, because Riri lives in South Africa, so I think they're probably sleeping. But um, if you guys haven't taken a look at Cape Kelvin yet, when that gets uploaded on Thunderstore, such a good map. Such a good map. Um, it's Rafterman NZ and the Real Chair. And Rafterman has some maps up on Paradox Mods that will be available at launch. And this map is sick. Black Dragon Canyon, Utah. Um, super sick. They made the other New Zealand maps, so Wanaka and uh, Lake Anoki, um, which I actually started building a map on Lake Anoki recently. Um, yeah, this map is so cool. This map is so cool. Um, this is, uh, they clearly took the pictures with map texture replacer though. So it's intended to be used in some way, shape or form with map texture replacer, obviously with the screenshots. Um, but it's not available yet. So I, I will see, we'll see how things go with map texture replacer. Um, I'm very hopeful and excited uh, to see how things go. It might, the old version might just work and you might just be able to manually download the mod or whatever and do a local install, which you can do with Skive. Um, but yeah, I mean, this map is stellar. Um, so many realistic streams and creeks on these maps. Can we see how water and elevation are working? Um, yeah, actually let's, let's boot up Black Dragon Canyon. Um, oh, code mods changed. Yeah. We have to restart the game. Anytime you download a new code mod. So that's not maps code mods specifically. You do need to, um, restart the game. Um, so. <clears throat> um, the, the nice thing, another nice thing about Skive that I didn't bring up earlier, guys, is that Skive will allow for, uh, your mods to update without booting the game. So, um, that's just another benefit of Skive is that while you're like not in game, it does that, but. I don't like the winter maps. The whole screen just goes like white for 40 minutes. I don't blame you. And I like how map creators are doing two versions. Um, I wish that there was just a better way in game to change the climate settings. Like I almost wish that in the map options when you launch the game that you could change between climate presets. So, um, yeah. I'm going to turn off the radio. So it doesn't boot up every time I boot up the game. Uh, because I don't have access to the new radio yet. I don't know if they intended to give it. I didn't see the code or something, um, but I don't have access to it. So uh, there's a new radio mod coming out, or radio mod, DLC coming out. Um, so uh, we'll dive into the editor here in a minute. Let's load up that map by, uh, oh, let's let's load up Bill Silverlight. So you can also share save games. 
on um on paradox mods as well which is really cool so this is a save game that was actually shared but from bill silverlight um this is a 200k city as we can uh kind of see it's kind of based like a uh the idea is like around manhattan i guess in a way um i am actually kind of curious because this is a 200k city um what performance looks like <laughs> Um, let's do the precise one right here and see what's going on. Now, for those of you who don't know, my power supply, little janky. Uh, it's, it's kind of on its last legs. So, uh, sometimes we have some game crashes. It has nothing to do with cities and a hundred percent do with my computer. This is beautiful. <laughs> uh, so just so you guys know that might uh, happen at some point but it looks like my render times are pretty good still i'm getting 44 fps in this city which is pretty nice still i i run my game on max as well um and just so you guys know if the issue still persists there is um if you guys are playing on uh pc obviously you'll have access to the hide advanced and advanced sections and graphics make sure you go down to um where is it anti-aliasing settings Make sure you change it to sub pixel. Um, Move it specifically has an issue with TAA, and TAA has been causing issues with other mods. I don't know what the deal is with it, but make sure you're using sub pixel at a maximum. Do not go to TAA. You can turn off anti aliasing if you want completely as well, but seriously, make sure that um, that's turned off. Make sure that you are not on TAA very important that you make sure that you're not on that um i cannot wait for zoning mod options to get a better ui <laughs> uh or like one that i can hide i don't know if there's a hotkey for it yet i need to look in the mod settings um there was not last time i checked <laughs> um so anyways this is a 200k population city as we can see right here um from bill silverlight this is bigger than anything i have currently so this is a great test city uh super big shout out to bill silverlight for uploading this to um the workshop it's running really well for 200k and i'm getting 40 fps 30 fps and like right here that's the lowest i've dipped that's pretty good um a lot of stuttering though but that's just like the game doing the smoothing for those of you who don't know uh if you go into developer mode you guys can actually see your actual game's rendering speed so like your sim speed i might have it at four times which is the three bars right so then this is like um this is just normal speed right here yeah and then this is two speed and then this is four speed you can actually see what the actual speed the game is rendering at uh under smooth speed so at four speed it's only doing two times so if you've ever been like, I have it on four times, but my game's not moving really quickly, the game automatically tries to smooth it so you don't, like, stutter, basically. Um, and so it, that's how it does that. <clears throat> um, but here we are. <laughs> Manhattan. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. So this is from Bill Silverlight's um, YouTube series that they do. Um, it's 200k population city. It seems to be running pretty good. Um, I have no idea if anything's going to break. I might boot this save up. Uh, I have to go to a family dinner later. Um, when I do that, I might boot this city up and leave it running and see what happens to the simulation on it. Uh, see what, if the update makes any changes. Because right now, if I'm looking at this objectively, there's a couple high rent things and maybe some lack of skilled labor. So there's maybe not enough room for education. I do have school balance replacer, so that should fix itself um, or school balance mod, but um, I might leave this up, um, obviously not while I'm streaming and see what happens to it. And then on Tuesday, I'll probably try to report back to you guys when we do our CS Tuesday stream here around the same time. So the same time I started today, I'll be live on Tuesday as well. So. I'll load up the city tomorrow and just uh, use it to tweak my graphic settings. That honestly might be a really good idea. Big shout out to Bill for uploading this. There's a couple other cities that are pretty big. Uh, that one that Biffa had that had a million people, that'd be really cool to see uploaded onto here so people can like use it as a stress test you know, um, because it's a good idea to like maybe boot those up and like fine tune your settings to like fit, like, does this look good? Um, this is something I want to create, but like, you know, will my computer handle it? Um, and it feels pretty good. I mean, like I'm getting 30 FPS minimum everywhere. Um, I have the recommended GPU for the game. 
Um, yeah. So uh, that's where we are with this. Um, I'm going to end the uh, look at Paradox mods for right now. Let's dive into the map editor. So um, full disclosure, I don't have a ton of experience with the editor from City Skylines 1. And I didn't have a ton of time to dive into the editor for City Skylines 2 yet. Um, an important thing to note is that Yen Yang's water tool does show up in here. I was having some issues with it. Yen Yang's water tool is great when you're in the map. But when you're not in the map and you're in the map editor, I would maybe suggest not using that tool and use the built-in map editor tools. So, um, would you believe I play this game on a 4790K? I don't know what that... Wait. But I, like an i... Like an Intel series? An i7? Oh, I have no idea. Dude, I, I have lost track of Intel chips since I moved over to AMD. I like I don't even keep up anymore because it's like I have to replace my whole motherboard if I want to go to Intel. So it's like I just stopped paying attention to Intel socket types and like what's what. And I've almost ejected all of the Intel information from my brain. <laughs> so I read that as like the, the like, like a 4000 series like amd gpu and i'm like don't they do odd numbers <laughs> 1050 ti laptop but i use 720p yeah also uh, for context i do play at 1080p um but everything is on high so keep that in mind as well i also have a um 7800x 3d until numbers baffle me too no, there, nothing's as bad as like the samsung monitor numbering like, just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Because this, the mo I, my monitor I have, like, right here is a Samsung monitor. And it, like, the name for it just, like, baffles me every time I, like, look for it. I'm like, what the, what, the, what is this? It's just gibberish. Um, like, maybe there's some rhyme or reason, but it just, it's not very apparent. <laughs> it's, like, 10 years old. They're on 14th gen now, I think. Yeah, they are. That actually, wow. Okay, holy crap. <laughs> I had low settings on a 720p. Did you get an upgrade since the game came out, DK? Anyways, let's dive into the map editor while you guys get caught up on all that. Um, so this is the map editor. I have a video breaking it down. I'm going to put in chat right now a link to the paradox wiki for city skylines 2 this is just the base wiki um if we go over here and we go to modding in here is all the information you need for modding and map creation what gpu are you using for your 7800x 3d i have a 3080 i have the evga um 3080 Uh, I have a laptop and desktop. My play on my desktop usually is a 3080 GPU as well. Oh, okay, cool. You, you probably get similar performance to me. Once once my city gets over a certain size, I become CPU bound anyway. So, um, for those who don't know how to check, um, if you're CPU bound or GPU bound, you look at your your timings up here. So if you are, are have developer mode, you go into options and you go to general, show FPS and frame time, and make sure you're on precise. And what you're going to want to do is look at your CPU main and your GPU. And whichever number is higher is your uh, bottleneck. So that's the one that's like not performing up to par compared to the other. So like, for example, right now I'm GPU bound. Um, but as cities grow, you'll see this number switch. So any update to include to turn off weather if legacy flavor isn't available and i have to go back to rain and snow uh you actually can do that in developer mode jla if you are in developer mode you can go to simulation weather and climate and you can override the climate time you can override the temperature you can override the precipitation all you have to do is turn on the toggle and then adjust the slider for it <clears throat> so you can change seasons make it permanent um it would be permanent it does it doesn't allow you to like make it like 
skip winter. You have to like permanently set it to something else while winter's going on. Um, but that's how you can do it essentially. So like you can see right here, it says current season summer. I believe if I then adjust this slider and press play, you can see it says autumn, winter, stuff like that. Um, and then it'll permanently set it to whatever climate time you set it to. So anyways, uh, on that wiki, you guys can go in here and go into the map creation section. Um, this is the really important section for the map editor. So if you guys have any questions, again, I don't have a ton of experience using the map editor. I didn't in City Skylines 1 either. Um, I might not be the best person to answer questions on it. You guys can use me as a tool, though. If you ask a question, I can probably do it. Um, but for the time being, um, for the part that we're going to talk about the map maker today, I can only provide you a limited amount of knowledge as I don't have a ton of experience with it. Uh, but I want to be transparent with that as well. Um, and I did do a whole video breaking down the map editor, which is on my YouTube channel, uh, one of my more recent videos. So uh, I also have a video recently going over the wiki and breaking down all of this stuff as well, which I think I reference in that video too. So I wasn't doubling up information on videos to make things more efficient for you guys. Uh, make sure you guys read these red notes though, because Peanut yelled at me um, <laughs> because I didn't read them and asked them a question and they were like, read the red notes. And I was like, oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I worked hard on the red notes. Um, <laughs> in a loving way, of course. Anyways, uh, if we go over here to the map maker, uh, the thing that I wanted to check and see. So first off, there's a checklist. So it makes you uh, have a checklist here. So you can see you're starting, uh, select your starting tiles, have a surface groundwater in the starting tiles, have outside road connections and give your map a name. Those are the only required things. Everything else, you, you can do whatever the heck you want it. Um, in this tool. So you can set a preview image, your thumbnail for it, uh, pick your theme. Uh, climate is gigaborked right now. Um, that's something that's going to get an update at some point, but um, CDW, what did you just send me? Um, okay, wait, 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 let me get caught up on chat after I explained all this stuff. Um, yeah, legacy flavor is not going to be available right away. Might be quickly. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take them to, to get it over, but it's not, it's not on Thunder or it's not on, um, Paradox Mods right now. Um, nothing from city, cities to modding is on there as far as I can see. Um, I have a 5900X, but I need to upgrade my 3070 Ti, waiting for the 5000 series. Yeah, I was kind of, that. that's the one that I'm kind of looking at. If I'm going to upgrade, the odd series always seem to be better from NVIDIA as like a time to upgrade, to me at least. Um, I don't know if everybody else kind of feels the same way, but if you're going NVIDIA for GPUs, which as a content creator is kind of... You know, um, the 5,000, like the odd number series feel like the best ones to upgrade to when I upgrade, but it's all about timing, right? You got to like, is this cost benefit analysis, all that stuff. Like, is it a good time to upgrade? Do, should I? Um, but, uh, I also have a 7,800 X 3D with the founder's edition 4080. Ooh, nice. This explanation I meant, oh, sent you makes sense. It's a big explanation of how play sets. Okay. Right. There is a lot of confusion around play sets so for those of you who don't know um i don't know if i can access paradox mods in here play sets are basically i'm gonna say it and tdw is gonna get mad because the exact reason why he sent me this but like um in layman's terms they are a collection not collections from steam but a collection of mods that you can switch between and you can toggle on or off which mods are in each playset. So you can have a playset that's specifically for map making. So because I don't want to use Yen Yang's water tool, I could make a map makers playset that is just mods for map making that doesn't include Yen Yang's water tool because I couldn't get it to work properly. Um that's a playset. It's not a collection. You cannot share collections. Uh, or you cannot share playsets like collections. Collections will be coming. There's a workaround for it right now where you can make a dummy mod with dependencies, but that's it. Um, not done yet. Uh, I have a specific point about that. Would you like me to read it out loud? Because I'll do that. Because I think it's important that people understand what playsets are in Paradox Mods. I think. Yes. Okay. All right. Let me read it. A playset is a list of mods that makes up your active mods when playing the game. You can have multiple playsets on your account to switch back and forth between depending on how you're planning to play at the moment. 
Paradox Mods downloads any mod that is included in any of your playsets, not just mods in your active playset. So this means, or this allows for quick and easy switching between playsets. So as long as you have it in a playset, it'll be downloaded onto your machine and update as though it is on your machine because it is. Um, you need to have an active playset to play with mods and subscribe to Paradox Mods, but you don't have to have an active playset because then you can just play vanilla. A playset is not a collection. Were those collections, uh, where those collections, uh, wait, a playset is not a collection where those collections are used as small groups of mods that you can subscribe and unsubscribe to all at once. A playset is more like your list of subscriptions on Steam. You can enable or disable mods within a playset without affecting other playsets. Yeah, the important thing to remember with playsets is just those are the mods that are active currently. You might have other mods downloaded on your machines as long as they're in a playset, but playsets are just there to switch between what you're currently using in game. That's pretty much, that's a playset right now. Maybe you can share playsets in the future, but yeah. There might be disabled mods in your playset. Also true. Also true. Very good point. <clears throat> so anyways, let's go into the modify tools. Let's import a height map. So I have some height maps that I made. Um, let's do, let's do height map Traverse City. So this is for Traverse City, Michigan. For those of you who don't know, I live in Michigan. I like to do a lot of stuff related to Michigan um, because that's what's familiar to me. I think a lot of people always like to pick like a specific area or region and like hyper focus on it. I grew up in a small town, northern Michigan, um, very similar to kind of where City Planner plays, grew up and is from, right? Um, I'm just on the other side of the lake from him. <laughs> um, so it's that's the area i feel comfortable with building i know a lot about small town rule michigan is kind of my shtick um traverse city is kind of like one of the larger population centers in the northern part of the mitten um so i wanted to see what traverse city looked like because it's geographically kind of a unique area has some coast um so i made a height map of traverse city um and then now i've imported the height map right here so you guys can kind of start to see it form but as you can see there is some area right here and if you downloaded a mod from thunderstore you might recognize that some maps were just the buyable area and some maps had extended areas and that's because you can also import a world map which is the extended area so as i import that we get a little bit more height map information in here as well and as you can see a lot more land has been added and that's the extended area right um so now you guys should be able to uh, kind of clearly see where the water is supposed to be in this flat area and like start to see the terrain heights. Um, there is a website that I used. I referenced to it in my map making breakdown video. I think I put it in the description down there. It does require you to make a map box account that requires your credit card. There might be, you don't have to pay. I didn't pay for it, at least not yet. They might automatically charge you as you use it. I have no idea. Um, so be mindful when you use that site, um, read into it. Um, there might be freer versions uh, of height mapping import data, um, but as of right now, this is how I did it, and it made it really easy to, for me to start, basically. So, like, if I wanted to, like, clean some of this up so there's, like, a cleaner coastline, I, I could do that from here, right? Um, <sighs> I'm going to try Port Huron, Michigan myself uh, as a test of playing with map building. Oh, nice! All right, Muller Lake, Mullet Lake. Um, anyways, yeah, this is Traverse City. Sorry. Uh, this is the coastline right here. So let's add some water. So again, I'm not going to use Yen Yang's water tool because I couldn't get it, um, added very quickly. Now, again, you could get, you can, the build of the game that you all have access to right now, you can get into the map maker. It's not as easy, obviously, and it's not as feature rich as it is currently, but you could access this. Um, so... The features and like stuff have kind of been in the background of the game this entire time. Um, I referenced that in one of my older videos. So um, none of this is really like super new. Um, it, I don't know what's different between the version that you all have access to, to the live build version that we are going to be uh, obviously drop, uh, not we, but like that's going to be dropping tomorrow. Um, but if we go into the water tools now, we can add a water sources, right? 
And these are si very similar to Yen Yang's water tools. So if you downloaded Yen Yang's water tools, saw anybody use it, it's basically much like most of the mods that are on Thunderstore. They're taking elements that are already existed in the game, giving them a nice fancy UI and allowing you to access them. Um, so much like that, we can add a border sea source right here. So this is our water source, right? And as you can see, it flooded way too much. So as we look, we can see that this crosshair kind of rotates with us. The top side and the bottom side are used to, as you can see these little white lines here, adjust height. So uh, I, as you can see, I dropped it all the way. I might've broke it because I might've dropped it too far. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Let me do this again. So add the border sea water source. Here we go. So I can raise and lower that as you can see right here and figure out where I want to put that. Right. So I want to probably put it right about there. We'll stick it there for now. I probably can get that a little bit closer to where I want it, but we'll just leave it there for the sake of the video. And no matter where I'm looking, it's top and bottom that do height and left and right do size. So if I want to shrink it down, raise it up. So we can move this over here more, shrink it down a little bit. Those of you who don't know what Traverse City is, Traverse City is the largest grower of cherries on earth, as far as I understand it, like single location of cher cherries, um, big cherry town, cherry festival, cherry capital airport, everything is cherry. Everything is cherry here. Um, <laughs> very unique climate. They get a lot of snow. Um, where I'm from, we get a lot of snow. Um, my hometown got like 144 inches a year. Like that's like the normal amount of snow totals um, in my hometown. Uh, Michigan is a very weird place. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this is how you would spawn the water. So now if I press play, you guys can see the water go. And you might see it, it be really slow. So what you can do down here is go into the water simulation speed and speed it up. Your game's gonna get really laggy because it's simulating the water, right? Um, the water physics are very interesting in the map maker. Um, I definitely have some criticisms, some comments, concerns, and so do the other map makers. Um, I trust them to like give that feedback better um, than I do um, because they work with it actively. Um, but uh, one of the uh, major issues I have with water, I guess not major, but is the idea that it then fills in every single thing on the map on the outside borders that is below this height so anything that's outside of the buyable area that is below this height is going to get filled in with water um it's uh i don't know if that's something they plan on changing or um anything like that but um so we're going to add another water source uh, looks like it might have Hold on, we gotta exit out of the water thing and then open it back up. Sometimes, if you if you notice your stuff disappears, just click on one of these tabs and then it comes back. Little bug with it right now. Um, but I can move it over here. It should remember the height. If it doesn't, it didn't. Sometimes it remembers the height and sometimes it doesn't. Um, and then because this one is kind of like so, these bays on the world map are actually cut off. So that's how you can tell that this is all just being filled in because it's at the same height as the water level. Right, so that's what the white line is. The white line is sea level. So um, if this was outside the map borders, this area would be filled in with water automatically. Um, so, and that can cause problems for some people and it can cause, it can be better for others, right? Depending on how you wanna think about it. Um, so here is our second water source, then that'll fill in. Uh, and you specifically use these border ones on the edge of the map and then constant ones you use internally. So if we wanted to make a border river that is on the border edge that spills from outside the map in, we would do border river. If we wanted to start one inside the hills up here, we would do a uh, constant rate water source. Just so you guys know, that's how that works. Um, so we can let this fill in and then I can start to answer some questions if anybody had any. Um, I'm confused on how Skive works with playsets. What happens if I create a playset that only contains Skive? Then in Skive, I manage all my mods. Skive does this like interesting thing where like it unsubscribes itself <laughs> inside of Paradox mods because Skive is an external application, right? So Skive isn't a mod. The mod allows you to download Skive and then Skive is an application. Um, I, that sounds confusing potentially so skive is an application that is separate from the game but it tdw worked directly with colossal order to allow it to make stuff but 
I just realized I'm on my other account. It's Chair. Oh, what's up, Chair? Chair, I'm so excited to get your maps up on Thunderstore. PDX mods is a means of downloading Sky of easily. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, that's that's basically um, the best way to kind of think about uh, Sky on Paradox mods is you basically just use Paradox mods to download Sky, and then Sky is an all around at mod manager, essentially. Um, yeah. Oh, by the lake, Lake Michigan. Which is what this is. This is this is Traverse City. It's on Lake Michigan, and Phil's all of Phil's stuff references like Midwest and and the Great Lakes stuff. This is great. This is perfect. I'm grasping at straws here for stuff to talk about. Anyways, um, <laughs> um, fun fact about this area: uh, they actually uh, Traverse City gets their water from this bay, and then puts their um dumps the the like treated water in this bay. So I always used to call this water clean bay and poop bay. <laughs> my aunt and uncle used to live here <laughs> so i would like spend like every summer in traverse city and then like i moved to traverse city when i first graduated school and i lived there for a year it's a great it's a it's a really beautiful place um traffic's god awful um uh the festivals are overrated uh but beautiful place if you guys like wine really cool wine place uh they do a lot of wineries here really cool ever looking for a vacation traverse city might be a really cool place to go visit uh, lots of beaches beautiful beaches michigan's got beautiful beaches on the great lakes a lot of people don't realize it cool place big sell um what do you recommend as the top five mods to load tomorrow to improve the gaming experience sky um uh, uh move it sky move it um learn how to use sky i'm gonna be doing a tutorial with tdw so i'm working with tdw who's in chat right now um to make a tutorial for how sky works um once it's more feature rich um it, skive isn't as essential right now but it will become essential i think um in terms of making sure especially after updates to make sure that mods aren't broken um because uh, it will have a more open source way to determine whether or not mods are broken um so uh after downloading it then i'd use it to launch cs2 you at you don't need it to launch cs2 necessarily but um sky is like a service so like it'll auto update your mods in the background um which is really nice and that's one of the major reasons why i suggest getting it because it will auto if you launch through sky it will always make sure your mods are up to date before launching the game because otherwise it will try to when you launch the game then paradox mods wakes up and is like oh hey you have mods you need to update hey your codes mods changed because they updated now you need to restart your game you don't need to do that if you have sky um, that's one of the reasons why I, I like Skive because it allows you to get that stuff all up to date, but you have to keep restarting the game because of them you'll want Skive. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's the big point. That's the big point I'm trying to make here with Skive is that Skive will keep everything up to date for you. So when you launch the game, you don't have to restart it. Um, when you download a new mod though, you will have to restart the game, but for updates, at least it keeps everything nice and tidy just because of the limitations of paradox mods. Um, and that probably won't change uh, because again, Sky is an uh, is an external application, not built into the game like Paradox Mods is. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, definitely Sky, definitely move it. Um, anything like the Yen Yang's Anarchy um, Tree Controller, and probably extra landscaping tools. Um, after we're done with the map editor, we can go back through and I can give you guys a list of mods that I suggest you to take a look at. Maybe you won't use them. Um, so a lot of them were available on Thunderstore. Um, move it's the move it and Sky are the big new ones that are now available, uh, along with FPS limiter. Uh, Clyte's mods are back as well, but um, Clyte's actively working on those. So, uh, anyways, that's basically how you spawn water. That's how the map maker works. Um, it again, the rest of it is really self-explanatory. <laughs> Um, if you look at the wiki and like, you know, terrain tools and stuff like that, extra landscaping tools, I think is causing that error. Uh, ignore that for the time being. Um, but you know, it's, uh, you have different access to different brushes. Um, again, you have access to these if you've been using thunderstorm mods, but if you haven't and you're like, what is this? Um, there's a Mesa brush, which can build a Mesa, right? <laughs> um, you know? Um, which obviously changes the shape at which the brush works instead of it just being like a circle tool. Um, 
if you guys are using external landscaping tools mod you already have access to this but um you know it fundamentally changes how that works so tdw has been doing the lord's work tdw and um peanut cuboid all the modders that you guys know and love have been putting in tons of work behind the scenes especially over the weekend to make sure everything's going good so um i'm not a map maker so i'm not gonna like sit here and be like no let, 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 try to make excuses this, this looks like crap because i'm not a professional map maker but again um riri real chair rafter man ancient swan have been like behind the scenes like working a lot with the map editor already um and they've already made some really cool stuff that you guys have seen <laughs> already on thunderstore and we'll see tomorrow with paradox mods and you'll be able to see like what the map maker is truly capable of that's not just the vanilla maps um uh, again read the wiki before you guys get into it you guys can paint resources here um ignore those errors again but obviously you can paint the resources down i showed you guys how to import height maps um the climate stuff's kind of borked um it doesn't really work um you can do the presets so the load climate prefab you basically just have to pick a preset with the map maker right now um if you're gonna make a map which i think is fine i think there's probably a map out there that's close enough to the climate that you're looking for that will get more fleshed out over time again all this stuff's still in beta technically but it's very feature rich for beta um, I think that's the important thing to kind of think about with it is like how far along they are for a, a beta version of it. <laughs> and, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say any more than that. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that's how the water works. The water works exactly like Yen Yang's water tool did. Um, Yen Yang's water tool is basically just an advanced version of it. Um, resources you can paint, you can import uh, height map versions of this. So you can basically do a height map version of it. Again, the wiki explains all of this stuff, but this is the editor and you can like slide through and like see different times of day. So like, you know, down here, you can change the time of year. So like now it's like winter or whatever. And then you can like see how many more clouds you can put in, right? Make it really cloudy. See what it looks like um, all down here in the sliders, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's a nice and easy way to like kind of see how things are are going with it um you can see your info views up here which is all pretty handy again um i think phil city planner plays um during his live stream a couple days ago was talking about the editor because we've been able to talk freely about it but it's really hard to explain a lot of this stuff without showing it and i think his description was really nice in the idea that he said um he might be in here lurking i don't know if he's live right now um it, it he said it's very similar to city skylines one and that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you look at it um and i think that's very true um if you liked what city skylines one had to offer and you felt comfortable with it and you didn't want to like go through like a huge learning curve to move on to the new game you don't have to worry about it too much but um if you were really wanting more new features it doesn't really have that much um so take that as you will. Um, I don't know how much more it needs necessarily. So like, again, I'm not a map maker. Um, feedback will be wanted um, from Colossal Order. As long as it's done respectfully, obviously they want to know what more to add because they wanted a lot of this with beta is they want your feedback. So um, they want to hear from you. They basically have, have given you the blank, the template of like, okay, this is what we have so far. What more do you want, right? So. Can you do tunnels in the map editor? I don't know why you wouldn't be able to do tunnels in the map editor. So in order to add anything else, like roads and stuff like that, you need to go into the object menu. But here's the big problem with the object menu. Um, you have to go, you're not a big problem. Sorry, I don't know why I said there was a big problem. You just basically go to the add object menu and then in here you type for the road you want. So you type in roads, right? Um, so like gravel road, for example, right? And then this is how you draw the roads down. Uh, essentially right so if we want large road we can go like this and then um you know there's your tunnel oh cool oh, you couldn't in city skylines one okay i i didn't know that again i i want to be transparent i did not mess around with the editor a lot um in city skylines one so um yeah 
Look out for Paradise Island next week. Is that okay? So that's going to be your first new mod post the editor dropping real chair. Again, if you guys ever see the real chair, um, such cool maps, really good maps. Definitely worth looking at. Same with Rafter Man NZ, same with Riri. Those are the, those are the big three in my brain when I think of like really good maps and, and there's other, there, don't worry. There's other great map creators. Those are just the three that like, I think I interact with the most probably. <laughs> um, and um i use their maps quite frequently for stuff so um yeah um can't wait to see the batch notes and what bugs are fixed yeah i wish i could share them um we're just not where i we, we're not supposed to <laughs> uh <laughs> well i have paradox access paradox mods uh tomorrow at 1 p.m new york city time I think that's when the update drops that's when the dlc drops so in theory that's that's when you should, guys should get it <laughs> i'm a little hesitant speaking in definitives in case something gets delayed i that's the time they told me um i don't know why something would but um just in case <laughs> it's just freaks me out i don't know i don't want people coming to me and saying you lied you know i'm like i'm just, just Repeating, I'm just a just talking head. I'm not even getting paid by them, so like, let's. Uh, ooh. <laughs> um, I get paid in clout. Uh, to all the modders in chat, please make some vanilla plus maps. Well, all of the maps should be vanilla so far. There should be nothing that's not vanilla. Even if you use mods to make something, something really cool about City Skylines 2 is the fact that they've kind of built it in a way. So that way, if you're using a mod and it breaks, right? And it fails to update, um, it, the game is built in a way to still allow you to boot your save, right? So, like, it's sure it might break, but they really tried hard on the back end to make it so that it doesn't. So, if, let's say, they make a map without vanilla assets, um, it will still load. Um, so, like, if they use map texture replacer for something, it'll still work as, like, a green map. Um, so, I don't know what this is. Again, we're still in beta. What is this? Just like a random like collision? Huh. Weird. I don't know what that is. Maybe a reload to fix it. Maybe it's my height map data missing. Ooh, it might be height map data data missing. Oof. Um I got some abandoned height maps. If you want to check them out, it's a desert theme. What do you mean abandoned height maps? Elaborate. Is a historical start. I like being able to access trains. That is on uh, Paradox Mods. That will be available tomorrow. <laughs> that will be available tomorrow. 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 Um, 5 p.m. here in the UK. Yes. Yeah. 5 p.m. London time. 1 p.m. Um, New York City time. 2 a.m. Tokyo time. I think everyone can kind of like adapt their time zones to one of those. Hear what I was looking for? I sent in Discord. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. Let's import them. Hi, Molly. Hello. Big pets for the baby. Um, okay, let's uh, let's let's do those. So first off, uh, before we get any further, I, we're, we're gonna go over mods that I I suggest you guys use tomorrow, and then we're gonna go over some of the maps that are currently available on Thunderstore. Um, 
after that. Before I do that, I, I do want to show you guys how to back up your saves because I really think you guys should back up your saves before this update especially if you use Thunderstore. Just back them up, put them someplace nice and safe. That way, if something happens and you need to do a full reinstall, some people had to do that um, because of Thunderstore, specifically Thunderstore conflicts. Um, Thunderstore made some like buggy, buggy stuff happen. Uh, not a lot of people. I don't want to fear monger, um, but I want you to be prepared, okay? Um, so uh, what you do is you go into your app data folder uh, in order to access your app data folder, you type percent sign app data percent sign into the search bar on your computer. Okay. Um, so here we are in our app data folder. You're going to go back to the app data folder here. Wait. Yeah, you're going to go into roaming. Wait a minute. Something's wrong here. That's my OneDrive app data folder. Why am I in that? What? Okay, weird. Okay, now we're back. Very strange. You go into your app data folder. You go to local low. You will go to colossal order. City skylines 2. You will go to your saves. And then there should be this jumble right here. And then in here is all of your saves. You're going to need to... <laughs> you need to need to grab your .cock file. Your .cok file. And your .cock .cid. All right? You need to grab both of those and go... Go save them somewhere. Put them anywhere you want. Don't remove them. Copy them. Copy them and put them somewhere else. These are your saves. If you ever wanted to share saves with somebody, that's how you do it. Yeah. See, okay. Yep. Is that short for Kodiak? Maybe. <clears throat> Grab your Cox files, everybody. Grab your Cox. Um, anyways, grab those and then go tuck them someplace safe. Keep them safe. Um, put them someplace safe. Now, I'm going to back up to the City Skylines 2 file for a second because this is important in relation to the height map. So when you want to import, or when you want to have height map files, um, first off, they need to be specific sizes. The real chair knows what they're doing with it. Again, this information is available on the wiki. If you scroll down here, you'll see how big you need the files to be. The website that I linked in one of my previous videos uh, will give you the world map and the height map. You do need both. Um, if you want the extended area. So like this is just the buyable tiles and this is the um, non-buyable tiles. As of right now, we don't have a mod that allows us to buy out to there sadly yet, but maybe one day. Um, so anyways, we're gonna go into the, uh, into the actual City Skylines 2 folder. I did not have a height maps folder, but you should probably make one if you don't have one as of tomorrow. So with the update, if you don't have a height maps folder, make a height maps folder. Call it height maps. Um, this is where we're gonna put our height maps. Just backed up my saves. Thanks for the reminder. Definitely back up your saves, even if they're vanilla. Just just back them up. Back them up. Keep them nice and nice and tidy and safe. Um, should definitely do that. Uh, historical, yeah, and then historical start will definitely be available when everything's live. Um, I'm going to save these really quickly. I don't want to like show anything I'm not supposed to. Chair, what these these look different? Is there like an order you want me to load these in? I saved them, um, so we can dive into this. I'm gonna exit out of the editor really quickly, and then um, we'll load back into it. I'm checking CPP's video on the updates. He made big oof about comments. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Let me go back out. Hold on one second. 
Um, for those of you who don't know, on Steam, you guys could used to be able to comment on mods. Um, you opt into that now. So as a modder, you have to opt in to have comments on your mods. Um, so it will be like a forum post kind of down here. It'll be linked to Paradox Forums, as far as I understand it. Or I feel like it's a little confusing because I, I felt like they said it can link to other platforms. So like you might say in the description, comments and questions can be go over here instead to like a Discord or something like that. Again direct links to people's patrons and paypal so support your favorite modders because they do work for free um change log is over here uh, i went over this all in my video so if you guys didn't know any of that but um there will be like a comment thread down here if they want to link it to a forum post i haven't seen a mod have it yet i don't know if that's just because this is not all publicly available yet or what or maybe none of the modders have like really tested it yet but um um, there it'll be down here. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And you can also switch between your play sets up here and start a new one up at the top. Um, it was diamond the editor to your mod. Supposedly it will be automated. Oh, okay. It's playable in total. They just look different. Like they don't look like the same scaled height map. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. We'll, we'll take a look. So let's import the world map first. So, uh, you called the, Oh, Oh, right. You have to restart the game. This is why we're doing this. So when you put new height maps into that folder, you do have to restart your game. You do have to restart your game. Phil said there are no comments flat out. Okay, that's not true. That's that's a lie. There will not be comments by default, but there will be comments if a modder opts into it and it will link to a form post hence the big oof yeah that is that's actually going to cause some frustration and i'm gonna i can already hear a lot of people like yelling about that when that's not correct and causing a big stink uh-oh 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 <laughs> Hey, do you guys know that we're listening to Phil's music right now? This is Master Plan Music, his royalty-free music library that is open to everybody to use. That's pretty cool. I use it in all my YouTube videos. Anyways, <laughs> we love Phil. We love Phil. All right, let's import a world map. So now you should be able to see them here. So we have desert height map and then high. This Wait, yeah, playable area. Okay, so desert height map is your world map. So let's import that one. And then let's import the height map, which is the playable area one. Um, so as we can see here, this is like something the real chair has. So this is the real chair's imported height map. They intend to use this for some desert area. Look at this. Oh, this is so cool, dude. So anyways, this is how you um, can do that. Don't let a map like Miami, Florida, West Palm Beach, Florida. Dude, Larry and his obsession with Florida. Larry, don't worry. This 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 beach properties DLC is perfect for you. They base the American buildings off of Florida. Um, but anyways, this is like what another height map might look like. So as you guys can see here, I mean, clearly some like uh desert camp. I don't know where you got this height map from, but like if we go and look at um, the screenshots from uh, Black Canyon, uh, that's on Paradox Mods, and I'm just thinking about how that map texture, whatever he used in that for map texture replacer would look on this map, would look fantastic. And you guys can see that there is like a shallow river in here, and this is just a height map, so. Um, only problem is that it's too high. Oh, okay, so you'd have to like scale it down. Yeah. And you can see that like it like rolls. Oh, God, this looks so good, dude. And so what, the playable area goes out to here and this is all like non-playable, like extra filler space. Wow, that's gonna look so good. Desert maps I think are really gonna excel in this game because the extended area outside of the buyable area is like kind of just like blah land, right? And I feel like on desert maps, that's okay in a way, you know? So, yeah. Make the sun low? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh. Ooh. Why is it like snapping now? It wasn't doing that before. Huh, weird. Anyways. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the way the light casts is like sick. I'm like a floating shadow. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Or like maybe it's just not casting properly because of the way the sun is. So like over here, it seems like it's like in a different. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Um. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, this is so cool. But yeah, with map texture replacer on these mountain cliffs, it'll look a lot like Black Canyon. This is a really cool height map. I'm excited to see what you can do with desert stuff. Chair. Yeah. And then we can add like a water source in here. We'll just mess around with this for a second. So we can do a constant rate water source. I'll just show you guys how this works. So um, let's start. We'll just start it here, I guess. All right. This is going to seem a little wild for a second, guys. So bear with me here. Okay. Is it because we don't have a border water source that it's like freaking out? It might be because of how the height map is loading. Yeah, the flow rate. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay. It's the, the heights a problem as well so you guys in here you can also just like drag and adjust in here as well try point zero two okay uh for those of you who don't know i haven't had a ton of time to work around with this so yeah there it goes There we go. Yep, so now you can see how the water's flowing through here. I don't know where all this water came from, but like if we wanted to add like a border water source, so let's go, where does the map border end? There we go, so if we wanted to add like a border river, this is a good map to do all this testing on here, Chair. Um, There are some funky things with the, uh, water tools in this game so we'll show those off i guess we'll try to at least did the benchmark and things uh wait phil also did the benchmark and things are great it seems oh really so that's actually really good um maybe we'll have to take a look at that at some point i'll take a look at that off stream and see what his benchmarks are Hi, Dad. How's your hobby? How's my hobby? <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, buddy. I think the problem is that this is actually the direction that the water's supposed to flow, isn't it? So I should have put this river source up here. <laughs> I think that's how I should have done it. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll figure I mean, we're just testing. We're testing. Imagine no alert. What do you mean, no alert? What do you mean, no alert? What are you talking about? 
Um, but as you guys can see, you guys can see how the water sources are kind of working here. Um, again, you have access to the water sources using Yan Yang's water tool on Thunderstore right now. You guys can see how this actively works um, and will adapt, um, you know, in the editor. Um, so you guys can like test it for yourselves, obviously. I can't like really lower this anymore. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy this one. Uh clear. Alright, there we go. Goodbye. Bye bye. Yeah, I think that's supposed to flow down river. This is the this is up river. Alright, let me clear that one as well. Let's go up river then. Um, where is the edge of the viable area? Am I lost? Where are we at? Okay, right here. Right here. All right, let's see. Pause the game. Add that. Drop this puppy down. So what we want to do is... What I found, Peanut told me this actually, is you line it up with the edge here until you see that faded line right there. And then you can kind of get like an idea of like where the water source is gonna like flow up to. So like you can see right there, that's where it's gonna flow to. So um, then we can just line that back up with that and kind of just let it go. With rivers, you have to adjust flow source. So like, just keep that in mind, but we can let this run as quickly as we can. And that should flow down the river and we'll see what that goes. Um. So, but we can see here that the river kind of goes up. Um, an issue with how water sources work in this game is like how it, I wish you could put water sources on the unbiable tiles because right now that's not how it works. Um, I think we have, I think a lot of people, including myself, have a lot of desire with the um, extra tiles. Like we want to be able to do more in them. And right now there's, not really like a great way to do it. So like, as we can see here, this is gonna flood plane out and that just has to do with the water physics. So we might wanna do constant water sources rather than a border water source on this map in order for it to work the way we want it to work, uh, essentially, so. Because otherwise we're gonna flood this whole plane, right? Interesting. Doesn't want to keep going. <laughs> but anyways, this is all fine tuning stuff. Again, I'm no map maker. I leave that to the real chair and everybody else who's much better than me at it. <clears throat> um, that will flow down eventually. Yeah, there was there might have been some weird height limitation there, where it was backing up. Eventually, it would have overflown. The real height map data. So I haven't cleaned this up at all. But that'll all fill up and eventually flow down. So anyways, that's how this, the editor works. Uh, if you guys have any further questions with that, I'm, again, might not be the best person to ask because I don't have a ton of experience with the editor. I have a ton of experience troubleshooting mods, working with the mods, doing tutorials on how to do the mods. Uh, map editor, not my forte. Um, and I'll, I'll be the first to admit that, so. I do both. Oh, it's so like a border water source and then like the, f the constant flow rates to then eat and control how much further goes down the river. That makes sense. So this is a great height map. Thank you, Real Chair, for sharing this with us and allowing us to use this as a test. Um, I have one other height map as well, which I will, um, I'll show it off to you guys. It was another one I downloaded so you guys can see. This is obviously like much better than any of the ones that I had. Um, I mean, this is sick. Wait, you map texture replaced with this? Oh, so good. Um, let's uh, go back to the main menu and then uh, load back into the editor. And then I'll import a new height map. Um, so this is, where is it? I think it's minus 105. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I have these weird like texturing issues with height map import. I don't know what's up with that. Um, you know, it is what it is, but this is an area in Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, I believe Estes, where's Estes? I think, es I think this is Estes Park up here. 
which is one of the entrances to Rocky Mountain National Park. The other one is like Grand Barry or something like that. This is like the lake on the southwestern part of Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, and this was another hype map I downloaded. It looks pretty nice. All you have to do is kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, game imports it pretty well. Really weird texturing stuff. If I were to save this map, this wouldn't. I don't think this would be here, but it might be. Um, it, it does this weird like thing where like it it kind of like changes eventually and then it like does this weird like pacing thing i don't know that's some weird bug but um it's pretty cool but um the drain map is too high oh okay that would make sense yeah see here it goes uh, again it's something that we're all gonna have to learn how to use or they're gonna have to fix it might just be like a limitation of it it might just be like uh something we have to like learn or it might just be um something they have to fix so i don't know why it does this <laughs> that's why the spots are there okay all right well i know that now good to know um again i just like downloaded a random height map so it might just be like how you have to download the height map might be different and then once you import it it works just fine so height map importing is going to be way different than custom made maps too so um always remember that as well so let's go back to the main menu um new grumpy gramps here in the uk how do i find your discord is there a link so there is a link in the description of the youtube live stream so if you uh hit the drop down on the actual description there's a link to my discord in there there's also a link to it on um uh my actual youtube like my home page um i don't have a good uh channel bot for YouTube yet. I need to contact Stream Elements support because my YouTube account and my Twitch account won't link. So I need to contact Stream Elements support so that way Stream Elements, my actual YouTube chat bot will work on YouTube, um, which would be nice for everybody. <clears throat> so, um, anywho, let's go back into Paradox Mods really quickly. And then I'll dive into a map that I kind of started and we can do a little bit more testing and looking and stuff like that. Uh, let's do to last updated, maybe. Uh, looks like Raptor Man updated Lake Anoke. I don't know why. Uh, population rebalance. Looks to be back, so that's good. Uh, we did take a look at Black Dragon Canyon. Wait, did we boot up Black Dragon Canyon, or did we just look at the screenshots? I don't think we booted this map up yet. Ooh, we have to look at all the new maps, too. I had a lot of people asking me for to look at the new maps that are going to be available on Paradox Mods. Um, so we definitely need to look at that. I don't know where the left and right arrows are. Wasn't, isn't there supposed to be like left and right arrows? On like ones with like more preview images? Am I wrong? I thought there was. Maybe it's just like a limitation. I don't know. I always thought there was arrows. Can you show us Clyde's transport, transport manager? Yes. So this actually existed on Thunderstore for a short time before Clyde took it down. Um, so I actually was using the transport manager for quite a while. Um, uh, wow. Okay. This new updated version is kind of crazy. Uh, oh, this is way more feature rich than the version I was using. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I only really used it for city palettes, like for line color palettes. Um, beforehand. That's so cool. Uh, any, before we move too much further, anyone who's normal to my streams, um, I just want to let you guys know that, um, you guys have been collecting wheel spins down below for anybody who doesn't know and isn't new to my streams. Usually when we fill up these bars down below, we do something called a wheel spin and, uh, cool things happen. Um, usually they're Twitch focused. So if you guys are on YouTube, um, they're not as focused towards you, but, um, when uh we fill up those bars usually we do wheel spin we're not doing wheel spins today jack thank you for following welcome in um we're not doing wheel spins today i had turned off a lot all my green screen alerts as well um which is something that we have come fun things to disrupt the stream um i turned those off today because today is a day of education and, and learning because uh, if i have early access i want to share as much as i can with you guys um so um yeah anyways definitely need to add tree controller add required mods Hold up. What's required? What don't I have? What is this? Localization feature for the burden of authors centralized coverage? Oh, okay.
But anyways, those those wheel spins are not going to go away. I will spin them on uh, anything that's collected today. We will spin on Tuesday for CS Tuesday. Um, anyways, we're going to download the tree controller. Let's uh, add the required mods. That's a new one. I haven't seen that dependency before. Um, yes, Clyte's Transport Manager. Let's get that one downloaded as well. Um, when you start downloading stuff, you can actually see the download progress as well. If your internet speed's slower than mine, you'll actually be able to see it. Um, I, however, have uh, uh, fiber. So <laughs> uh, when I download a mod, it's just download. <laughs> uh, it's hard to catch it. So um, let's see. Hopefully the free range camera mod's working. I like free range camera. Um, just allows you to go outside of like where the camera allows you to go. Um, you can get your camera lost, so just be mindful if you use it. But I really like that one. <laughs> Um, there is a historical start for somebody who was asking for it earlier. Um, I feel like I might have missed a chat message somewhere. Nope, I don't see it. Um, we're taking a look at Owl's map. This is um, this was like the first map I saw. <laughs> when the game uh when i got early access and wow it's a good map maddie actually was playing on it if you guys watch the official colossal order live stream um they played on this uh paradox sorry live stream um of the new update they played on owl's map uh it was maddie and henka um they were playing on it uh okay wind Mullen delta we gotta down i gotta get these maps downloaded because we gotta take a look at these i had a lot of people asking for uh me to do map looks um side they have two versions of this i don't know what the difference is so let's take a look here a vanilla map so what's the other one I think they're just duplicates. I think they're just duplicates and they were re-uploading as a test and they made a new mod maybe on accident. That might be it. That's the vibe I'm kind of getting from that. Um, FPS Linder, Scene Explorer, Plop the Growables, Realistic Building Occupancy... Anything else? I already have Magnolia County. If you guys had custom maps from Thunderstore, they'll still be playable. Don't worry. It's all fine. I, I tested them. Uh, maybe maybe some might break. I have I can't like promise that like every single one's going to work, but I haven't had an issue. And then there's all Naoka's mods. Okay. All right. Cool. I got to restart the game. Um, who's in early access? Just streamers, I'm assuming. I think the rest of us get it Tuesday. Uh, streamers, modders, asset creators have had access. Um, maybe some journalists. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's like uh, other people who have had access. I don't think that's um, against my NDA to share that those people have because a lot of them have stated it at this point. So it's like, yeah, it's not just it's not just content creators who have early access. Um, you could apply for it so like um modders could apply to get early access i think everybody who applied who has a mod on thunderstore got in to early access if they wanted it so um i don't know that for sure but i haven't seen a lot of people who didn't um so um yeah i was surprised how many people who applied got in um i was surprised i got in too um which is cool so more people, more stuff that will be populated on PDX mods come tomorrow, which is great. Yes, Monday. Yes, it comes out Monday. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Monday, 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 Monday. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. New York City time. Um, 5 p.m. London time. And 2 a.m. Tokyo time. And that should help you figure out where when it comes out in your time zone. Um, I, my brain just like broke. What am I doing? I'm trying to launch the game. <clears throat> now you can't say that until you pay me, Peanut. 
Open that open that checkbook. <laughs> this isn't sponsored content <laughs> yet. <laughs> Yeah, 1800 CET. Julian! Thank you for following. Welcome in. Um, okay. Let's... Uh, we don't want to go into my build yet. We already checked out all of the new buildings that are coming out. We did that earlier in the stream. Let's go into a new game and take a look at some of the new maps. So the problem is that I have all of my Thunderstorm maps on here. So I do have to do a little searching. <laughs> um, wait, do those maps show up in Skive? I'm curious. Let's find out. Uh, where do I go? Assets from here? Yep. There you go, sir. Sky be working. For those of you who don't know what I'm looking at here, this is Sky. This is an external application that you can download from inside of PDX Mods. Um, it is a... They use the mod as a deployment mechanism to download the application. TGW worked directly with Colossal Order to make sure that this all works. So this is like relatively safe um and it allows you to update your mods basically before launching city skylines it has a compatibility report helpful and easy access to your logs if you have crashes uh sky's great uh, it also allows you to easily manage your play sets and things like that so um checkbook not seen one of those in 30 years yeah i couldn't tell you the last time i saw a checkbook either aside from when my parents used them <laughs> Yeah, let me say a company credit card. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> That's how I get paid for my freelance projects. Um, one of the companies I was like, hey, like we actually just like a bill straight through your company credit card. So like I bill through PayPal for my like company, uh, for my like a freelance work. And usually they just end up sending me a check in the mail, like a like a pay stub. Um, oh, Peanut, yeah. Paid. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for opening your personal checkbook for that one. Um, <laughs> the dollar <laughs> um but uh you know yeah normally they send me a check and now they're like no no we can just pay you with the co company credit card now so we can like, actually pay through your paypal invoice and i'm like yes because that means it gets into my bank account faster thank you for the bit thank you for the bit thank you for opening your your own personal checking account for that um <laughs> Anyways, I want to take a look at Rafterman's desert map. I think we've all seen it at this point and been like, wow, oh my god. Um, here's the problem, though. I don't see it. Where is it? What is it called? I don't remember. Uh, Black Canyon? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Am I getting the bug? Oh, I got the bug! Oh, no! Oh, I got the bug. Okay, guys, there's a bug. There's a bug currently. Hi, Molly. Hello. You go lay down. Uh, not time yet. Not time for you to use a potty. Um, unless mom can let you out. Let me look. Let me see if my wife can let her out. Let me see. Can you let mom out? Somebody's in the shower right now. I don't know if it's her. So there is a bug right now with the live build. So some of the content creators today that you see, I think Canadian Moose Plays, is using um, the build of the game that's from before Friday. Um because there's a bug that sometimes makes it so you can't see your mods <laughs> that are active. So like it just doesn't deploy them properly. Um, this should get fixed relatively quickly. 
come launch. I don't know if it'll be... Hopefully it won't be in the game at launch. Who knows? Um, if it is, it should be patched out pretty quick. I'd hope. Um, that being said, there is a workaround for it. Um, some people have chosen to do the rollback, so they're using an older version of... Um, I'm a little blurry. The, some people are using an older version of Paradox Mods. Uh, or not Paradox Mods. Of the, of the build that we're playing on. Um, to fix the problem because it, it, it it's, it's like a newer um, update that caused the issue um, that we had access to. So some people are using a rolled back version of the game. Other people like myself have found a way to get around it by like basically um, turning everything off in our playset and turning it back on. So if you guys have the issue, try both of those things or try that thing. And then if you guys are still having the issue, you're not going to be able to roll back the version, I don't think. So like that won't be a, an option. So um, don't know what causes it. Uh, I don't know. I, it should be quick fixed pretty quickly. Um, bugs happen. All right. Let's see if it deployed properly this time. So I need to go into new game. I need to see if now it's in there. Um, I've also found the solution to be sometimes just restarting the game fixes it. So, um, there it is. Um, a you know, black kinda, dragon. I'm not taking the Lord serious. Oh, there he is. And I walked over to him and I went, bam. I punched him in the chest as hard as I, I crumpled the kid. I just crumpled him. <sighs> Welcome in, Blue Highway. For those of you who don't know, my Discord subscribers have fun little walk-on videos they can, they can play. <laughs> when they when they chat for the first time that's that's uh to my mod blue highways how are you blue how are the mods great absolutely fantastic um yeah i did already add that to my place so that's the problem so sometimes that does happen so how use free range cameras want to do so the free range camera mod just allows you to basically go outside the area once you download the mod it just works so uh, thanks for sharing the historical start is available at Paradox Mods. Uh, um, modders, I like a lot. Wait, two of the modders. I thought you said two F the modders. And I was like, wow, that got, you just got really hostile there, Jay. <laughs> That was me. <laughs> uh, two of the modders I like a lot are Algernon and Nyoko. Yeah, Algernon and Nyoko's mods are great. Um, Yen Yang's great. Q's great. They're all great. They're all great people. Um, anyways, this is uh, Black Dragon Canyon, Utah. This is the one that a lot of us have seen screenshots of and have been like, wow, this is going to be a really cool desert map with map texture replacer works with uh, this build of the game. Um, Welcome to Black Dragon Canyon, Utah. Cutting through the eastern uh, eastern cliff of the San Rafael Swell, the area is named after the rock art panel on the canyon walls that features what could like look like a flying dragon. While this map works with default textures, it is intended to be a desert map with desert textures requiring a mod. So please read, uh, see the description read me for desert texture instructions and dependencies. It also requires a better bulldozer by Yen Yang or a mod equivalent should you decide to alter the rest stop feature on the map. Enjoy Rafterman and Z. So actually you know what? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's see what let's uh I want I wanna show this map off right. I want to show this map off right. Because it, it Rafterman's maps are stellar. And they deserve to be um showed off properly. Uh, to get the textures and features in the screenshot mod requires, uh, that has not been published to Paradox Mods, I will update these instructions once the mod has been added to the site and intended for the desert map. Final screenshot of the Paradox Mods view gallery. Uh, it also requires better bulldozer. Um, oh. Wait. Oh, so it's not ready yet. Okay. We don't know if map texture replacer works. I haven't had a chance to check and we still have some stuff I want to go through today before we do that. And that takes, that'll take a little bit. Um, I could make a new profile on Thunder Story and I guess try to launch the game through that, but that seems like a hassle. Um, I could install it locally, maybe using Skive. Hmm. Jam, thank you for following. Welcome in. Um... So, but I am cheap, so you get minimum wage. Okay, all right, Pina, thank you. <laughs> 
I, let's load it up. Okay, all right. Um, There's not really a good way to do it right now, so let's uh, dive into Black Dragon Canyon, Utah. Um, if you guys haven't seen the preview images for this map, I will show it off one more time. It's right here, um, but we'll go into Paradox Mods. Actually, you know what? We can show it off in map. Right, right, I forget, but you just saw it right there. Um, well, I'll show it off in map. We'll, we'll, we'll start a new game with it really quick. Rafterman NZ uh, has made two amazing maps for City Skylines 2 so far, Wanaka and Anoki, which are both in New Zealand. Um, the heck is this? So two by six to get this one from Beach Properties, and it is the North American theme. So again, they come in a theme, as you can see here, Beach Properties, that is the waterfront zone. What, okay, hold on. Wait, why did you send me this? And, Why'd you send me this uh, clip of moves? Yeah, I think I think they look incredible. I'm really pleased. And again, God, that's I'm, a nice like, looking I'm really house. With this length of zoning and this style, because it has no drive. God, that's a nice looking house. And a lot of homes where I've grown up don't like or grown, sorry, live now in Vancouver, uh, especially East Vancouver. We, driveways are just not a thing. You have so two by. <laughs> Why did you send me this? We already looked at the buildings. Okay, <laughs> TD. Oh, oh, this looks sick. Okay, even without the desert theme, it looks really nice. I have a second one on the way. It's a nice house, dude. Did you turn off TAA? <laughs> that's my new. That's my new favorite gag. During the beta testing, there was a. There's been a lot of issues with TAA and anti-aliasing. Um, and so my new running gag is, did you turn off TAA? Dude! Oh, this looks so good! This looks exactly like a national park. Like, when I went to Rocky Mountain National Park, this looks exactly like how the byways look there. Oh, this is so good! And then with the desert textures that this map's supposed to have... This looks so good. Spiral! Can we can we all get some congratulations for Spiral who ran um an 18 kilometer race today? Um minus a restroom and a store. I mean this so this is how they look like in national parks. So like exactly. Like um I'll, I'll even I'll I'll find one that looks exactly like that. Um, so everyone in chat can kind of understand too, uh, what I'm talking, what we're talking about here. Uh, this is kind of on the other side of the road, but you guys will get a, you'll get a, you get a gist of it right here. So like, you just have like the little byway right here that you drive past right and then you can park right here like this is like exactly um i just want to make sure i didn't have anything in my like search for it but like you can see it right here you know um so this is like so sick um you know very cool um, I'm sure there's some better ones on this road. Because I remember one that looked exactly like the one that's in that. Um, that I drove past, but I don't I don't see it now. Um Yeah, there's another one up here. But that's that's what they look like. They they look exactly like this. So that's so cool. In like national parks. And I think this is kind of based on like an area like that too, so that's so sick. Yeah, big fan of that. Big fan of that. With map texture replaced, this map's gonna look awesome. Um, ignore that bug. It seems like relatively buildable too. Like the the terrain heights are like yeah, a little hilly. You can smooth some areas out, but but there's large flat spaces of land where you could you could build um, a city here in this plane. Like you should do a little terraforming, call it a day. Um, yeah, this is a cool map. Very cool map. Pretty flat up over here. You could totally build something big over here. 
I cannot feel my legs. It's very possible that I finished la last. That's okay, dude. You did your hardest, and you're make you're gonna make progress, and that's gonna be sick. So, oh, check the second clip. Oh, did we get a second clip? Um, for me personally, I think I was blown away. I was on the fence about the Beach Properties DLC, and I'll tell you. Right Let me tell you right now. This guy was very. He was very on the fence. I was frustrated. As someone who knew what it looked like before he did. Because I got my invite. Moose's invite kind of got borked so he couldn't see it. Let me just tell you. He was very on the fence. So if he's impressed with it, that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. The quality of the vanilla assets in City Skylines 2 versus City Skylines 1 is like, you know, it's so... It, it's so much better. It's so much better. Um, whether it's still or not up to your standards, whatever. But, like, you can't say that they look worse. Than City. They look so much better than City Skylines 1 Villa Assets. Um, yeah. Um, they're, they're definitely high quality. Whether or not there's not as many, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to make some... Oh, wait, somebody said something earlier. Is there already a mod that can change watercolor or something like that? No, nothing for watercolor yet. So, um, nothing for watercolor. I'm going to make a UK motorway service station, typically a footbridge over a motorway fuel station, food shops. Uh, the other side uh, slips in those, yeah. The trail was very pretty. That's nice. There's no way you finished last. If you finished, I'm sure uh, there was uh, one did not finish racer. Yeah. You know who roasted the DLC? Phil. Phil didn't like him. What didn't Phil like about it? I'm curious. I like it. I mean, we all like the game for different reasons, though. So, like, I'm not, like, going to say that Phil's wrong for not liking it. Seems like Phil's kind of very, um, critical. He's been, it's, from everything that I've heard so far about Phil's video, it seems like he's pretty critical, um, about this new update compared to some of us. What's going on here? Oh, it's just a little dot. Uh, this map's sick, though. Um, this is Rafter Man NZ's newest map. Um, he has two other fantastic maps that are available on on uh, that will be available on Paradox tomorrow, day one. Wanaka and Anoki, which are already available on Thunderstore, um, and they're both great. Uh, two of my favorite maps, uh, and this is their third one. So, and the Real Chair will have a new one coming out soon. And the Real Chair's maps are also all great. So when you guys see those, take a look at those. Riri's Cape Calvin, which is available on Thunderstore, that Riri's going to try to get up as quickly as possible onto Paradox mods, is also super sick. So, uh, you know, you guys see those three names. Make sure you give give those three names especially a look um, tomorrow. He had some valid points, like the potential price within its own zoning. There's not a lot of options. Yeah. I hope there's a mod that combines. Like, if this is how they're going to do different... The way you zone these buildings, guys, is, is its own zoning type right here. I hope that there is a mod that comes out quickly. Um, or, like... Colossal Order just includes this somehow, some way into the game that like makes it so you don't have to like. I just want all low density and a low density um, in a zoning type, so it can spawn anything from either zoning. Um, would be nice because I don't. I just I just want it added to all my buildings, right? Like I I want all of those buildings to be able to be built anywhere. Um, is kind of my deal. So. Um, all the houses look the same. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I don't know how I feel about that one, but teach their own. Uh, and then we don't get any beaches or whatnot with the DLC. I agree with that. I agree with that part. No, I do agree with that part. I'm allowed to speak candidly, so if I have something negative to say, I will. Like, I, I definitely... Like, and Phil obviously very much did that in his video. Um, Claude, thank you for following. Welcome in. Um, 
I definitely agree. Um, with uh, that, I feel like it's a little. Uh, I think a lot of that has to do with like there's no real like prop system in the game aside from the object menu. Um, and even at that, it doesn't really have like the best filter system. Like there's no way to filter all the new stuff, um, which sucks. I would like to just see what the new stuff is, like in terms of props and fences and networks. Um, before I head out, whenever you look at Fort Bragg, which I haven't yet, by the way, I apologize. Uh, is the real chair's new map? I haven't looked at it. I'll probably look at it tomorrow. Or oh, this is like a bunch of different buildings stacked together. Oh, it's like a bunch of the mills stacked on top of one another to make a big building. That's really cool. Um, I will probably look at it on Tuesday. Um, once you get it up on two paradox mods. Um, we'll take a look at it for sure on stream. Um, I'll be live on Tuesday. For those of you who don't know, I'll be live t uh, Tuesday at uh, noon Eastern time, which is New York City time. Here on YouTube and Twitch again. Um, we'll be playing cities. I'll actually be building. <laughs> Use the grass rendering thingy. It makes it look so much better. Oh, oh, like the actual like in um, game rendering. Terrain foliage. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, if you're missing sprites from City Skylines 1, um, they exist in a very, like, unfinished form in the back end of the game. A lot of people don't know that this is here, but um, it exists. They exist. Um, they're not done, obviously, because they build on the roads, and this is the only way you can access them. <laughs> um, but they're there. Um, may they come in the future? Hopefully. Or maybe somebody will build a mod out from it. But, um, it's coming. Um, I do agree with uh, Phil in some regards on the, um... <sighs> lack of actual waterfront detailing. Like, they call it the waterfront DLC, but there's not really, like, actual waterfront stuff. Like, it's more... Tropical. DLC versus waterfront. But I guess it's not waterfronts. It's waterfronts is the DLC. It's beach, it's beach properties, right? Which I think that actually does fit. Never mind. I'm 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 taking my steps back. I'm stepping back a little bit. I had to remember the actual naming conventions they used. I still think that, like, I agree with Phil on the side of things that like it should have had some ways to make shorelines more accessible, but um, what are the limitations? How long would that have taken? I take that into account when I'm judging stuff like that. Waterfront is this season pass excludes the pre-order stuff, right? Which we don't know what bridges and harbors or harbors and ports, harbors and bridges and ports, ports and bridges, ports and bridges is going to, I never can remember this stupid the expansion pass name <laughs> i fuck it up every time but um whenever that comes out but yeah nothing really beach about the assets yeah i i will say i agree with that I the big thing with the update here is the map maker and the pdx mods like yeah i guess there's a dlc and like if you have the um you know ultimate edition like obviously your uh edition hasn't been forgotten like the like contents like that content's coming for paying the premium price um so it's it's like one of those things i think for me where it's like i don't really necessarily see like the paid content being like stellar um as that essential as like being that essential when like the real big thing here is i think code mod support but uh, i think bp bad peanut bridges and ports i will literally remember that that's a good way to link it in my brain I was hoping for more roads now that officially modding has started. I don't know if there is. So don't expect um, new assets because the asset importer isn't done yet. So don't expect new roads. Don't expect new surfaces. Don't ex like expect new textures. Map texture replacer maybe. 
just because of how that mod works like it, it can like reshading stuff is a potential so like map texture replacer is a potential um stuff like that is but don't expect new structures outside of official um stuff for now until the asset importer is done fully um don't uh don't get your hopes up for something like that Um, I forgot that roads are assets, not mods. Yes. Yeah. Um, so like we don't have traffic, like a traffic manager mod really yet. Um, so like that could come that maybe is on the horizon. Um, but don't expect to like new roads that you've never seen before. Like, obviously we can manipulate them with move it right um but don't expect to be able to replace this road with like a brick road maybe a map a texture replacer but um how will that work in terms of like asset importing like stuff like that so keep that in mind yeah anyways if you guys haven't seen move it yet um for those of you coming in now and weren't here at the start of the stream um we do have access to move it it is kind of interesting how it works um because i can't move rock oh yes i can now i can Oh, it wasn't popping up. So why is the preview thing? Oh, so I have to click it? But it it works for networks because it's highlighting the nodes. But then why does it work for buildings? Interesting. Uh, move it's still in beta. <laughs> I think. Or no, it's not. But um, it, it, Q's still working on it. It'll get there if it's not, if it doesn't have something yet. Um, but yeah, move it's pretty great. So interesting. What's going on here? And uh, the cool thing with move it is you can like raise and lower stuff. Just like you could in City Skylines 1. So if you want to like put a building in like specific spots, who is an alpha? Is it? Cause he, it's okay. Is it? Okay. I thought it was like a, a 1.0 version on Skive. So like, I was like, is it an alpha or beta technically? <sighs> so small roads, one lane, et cetera, like city skylines one, enjoy city skylines two, but everything started to look the same. Yeah. I think a lot of people are, are uh, ran into that. And this will probably like spark a bit more, but like if that is your primary issue, like yeah, this sucks. I I'll, I'll be honest with you, like I hate that this is um we don't really have access to an alley style road. Uh, yo, Ruben Neil, thank you for following. Welcome in. Um, with a road like this, like should have a one way too that's narrow that isn't a highway road where people are traveling like at crazy speeds and creating noise pollution you know what i mean um this should definitely be an option um so I i'm sure it'll come eventually probably um but um yeah uh criticisms i have with the game but uh i especially after this content dump like especially with pdx mod support coming like kind of being here seeing what they've did with the beach houses like they look really nice i i do have a lot of hope and like confidence that the game will get there now especially looking at like oh hey here's here's more stuff and then we're like oh okay all right more stuff's pretty good it's pretty good it's not perfect but it's pretty good good enough <laughs> is one way alley with parking oh yeah 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 and who knows with the asset importer i think it'll get there but neither of those have any feeling yeah i can see what you're saying so anywho this is rafter man's map uh this is intended to have a desert map theme um map texture replacer isn't done yet for paradox mods i don't know when it will be um it's not yet um when it is we will be able to replace this with um desert map theme and it will look like Triton's updating their mods, maybe. Um, it will look like this, which is stellar. 
stellar. So. I have no real issues overall, just waiting for assets. Yeah, it's mostly just like a time game. Like, oh, that's where the next buttons are. They're on the picture. I almost wish they were down here on the edge. Hmm. But anyways, yeah, um, that's this map. It's pretty cool. So, like, Skive? What do you mean, like, Skive? The non-desert seems more organic to me. Um, I think the uh, thought process from Rafterman is that that is, like, what the actual map, like, the actual area of the world where he took this height map from. It, it is kind of, like, more deserty. So, uh, also... From what I understand, he didn't expect map texture replacer to work as good as it did with, he had like a, I saw an, I, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I'm going to, because I think it's even more impressive. Um, Rafterman like had the map, right? And he made it, he imported the height map. And then as a test took like a, a super low res, like eye stock photo map texture with those, like with this. Like with this, where it said I stock photo on the like actual texture, and it it still looked this good with the low res version of it. And he was like, "I'm blown away. I'm just blown. I'm blown away by how good it looks already without me even having a high res version of these ground textures." Um, and so I think it's, to him especially, I think it's more of like a highlight of like, sure, maybe you might like the more organic look of like the the grass and like it's to, it's a, to each their own kind of thing. I think it's just really impressive that this works, especially so well, because when you're stretching these textures out on these like cliff walls, I'm blown away by how natural that actually ends up looking in game, um, to be quite frank with you. Also, the fact that this is an in-game screenshot is crazy to me. Um, with like the lighting, the textures, everything like is, is, is very um very mind blowing. Um so really missing an alley with pedestrian road for making modern contemporary developments. Yeah, you're basically stuck using the pedestrian paths, but um yeah. Oh, shit. That's funny. Um, okay. All right. Well, anyways, that's this map. Um, let's take a look at some more of the newer maps. Um, there's a Seattle one I want to take a look at. Where is it? No. Is it doing it again? I like how I didn't even exit out of the map and it was just like, nah fam, your mods are gone. But this one's still here, but move it's gone now. We're gonna figure out this bug. What? Wait, yeah, wait, wait, this is way different than before. Right? This was not how the bug worked previously. Listen, dude, we're still like, <laughs> I cannot tell you how much time TDW specifically sunk in to figuring out the ins and details of this bug. Um, again, this this dude and Peanut have been an absolute workhorse this weekend um, in helping content creators like kind of understand everything um, with PDX mods and um, this bug that's occurring. And uh, yeah, dude, they're they have been doing such great work behind the scenes. Um, uh, great. I gotta go, uh, and sort the kids out. Take care, guys. Have fun. Have a good one, Charles. Have a good rest of your day. You, you can always come back to the YouTube live stream. If anybody's watching on YouTube, if you need to go, um, you guys can always come back, take a look at the VOD. It'll be up. I'm not taking this down. Um, so, uh, I might even make a video and say, hey, go look at this. <laughs> if you want my full breakdown of everything. Um, I know it's long, but, uh, I'm not cutting it up. Um, wait, somebody said something earlier. 
you guys said some stuff earlier and I missed it. Uh, thanks for the welcome. I actually came over from YouTube and I noticed that you had a Twitch. Yes, yeah, I do. I, Twitch is my primary platform. We stream other games over here on Twitch. I have streamed other games on YouTube in the past couple months. Um, I don't like streaming other games on YouTube. Not just because I don't think they get as many viewers, but mostly because like it's hard to switch games on YouTube. YouTube doesn't like have like a great system to like switch games. Um, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to just make a new thumbnail for a different game that I'm playing. So um, we do CS Tuesdays here on YouTube from now on. So it's um, City Skylines 2 every Tuesday. It's all we play. Um, so that'll be this Tuesday as well. So if anybody wondering, um, we'll be doing that as well. I met elementary school that is? Wait. Uh... Uh, suddenly they're gone correct I opened paradox mods yeah so when I opened paradox mods I went into here and I saw when I I exited out of it really quickly and in here it said a bunch of the mods got updates and then it removed them from my game, I think. I think the ones that got updates maybe got removed. That's actually... One of them I saw... No, because extended radio... This is extended radio's mod, and that's still here. Extended radio... This is the extended radio view. And that was one of the mods that I saw pop up in the notifications as like a redeployment or an update. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's not, maybe that has nothing to do with it. Um, but I did open Paradox mods mid game and now I've lost move it. What time Tuesdays? Uh, it starts at, every Tuesday at two or at uh, one, every Tuesday at noon Eastern time. But in the discord, I usually post my schedule every single Sunday. I'm not doing it this week because I have a lot of like work stuff, work related stuff I need to get done this week. So the only scheduled stream for this week is on Tuesday at noon. So I'm not even gonna post a schedule because I don't even know what videos I'm gonna do this week if I do any videos. Um, I should have something up Sunday, but it's kinda, it's kinda it. <clears throat> but yeah, we do that over on Twitch. Uh, we stream a lot more on Twitch. Uh, where you stream like we've been playing a lot of Project Zomboid recently because that's getting a big new update. We have like a server with me, Canadian Moose play. Slay was supposed to be playing on it, but then he he didn't want to play with us. That's not that's not true. Um, <laughs> that's not true at all. But uh, Slay wanted to add a bunch of mods, and uh, the rest of the guys didn't. And now they all want to add a bunch of mods, and now Slay's mad at them because I got invited late to it. But like now they all want to add mods, and Slay's like, "What the heck?" <laughs> uh that's 9 a.m your time perfect i am like a work day uh so you're west coast then um i'm like i a lot of my viewers i'm like their background noise while they work so <laughs> um i don't know if that helps you guys tdw do you need more from me before i like leave now that you've seen that you get you can go back in my youtube video obviously um and and um see what happened better i just don't know if you want me to like click into anything if this can help them isolate what's going on with the bug i want to be able to help them guys so like um sorry if i'm not like showing you guys off as much stuff but i want to make sure that this um Gonna head out now. Can't wait for the update at 5 p.m. tomorrow for our p.m. London time. So if you're in London, it's time zone, whatever that is, um, then yes, it will be at 5 p.m. Should be at 5 p.m. Unless it got delayed or pushed forward. That is the time I was told. Cool. <laughs> Did they leave? TDW leave? Hey. I be in London. What? Do you do you need anything more from me with this bug before I 
load into a new map? <laughs> Los Angeles? We get zero inches of snow? I like snow. I grew up in a, a part of the country that gets like a, a lot of snow. So I like it. it it's comfy to me. <laughs> I can't stand hot weather though. If it's above 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm out. Nope. Inside. I'm I'm cooking. Go to Skive right now and copy the log report and send it to me. Okay, I can do that. And then we're gonna load up another new map that's a, a pair of uh, PDX mods exclusive uh, right now. So you guys can take an early sneak peek at it. Um. Okay. Help and logs. You'd hate Florida in the summers then? Absolutely. <laughs> I absolutely would. It's so fucking humid too. Um, okay. Copy logs to, do you just want me to copy the log? What, do you need me to save logs to file? Is that what you want me to do? Specifically, because I don't think I can, I, yeah, probably can't send it. Yeah, that's probably what you want me to do. And then I'll drag and drop it. Drag and drop. Oh, and then peanut with the classic move to Australia. No, don't, I don't, I don't think I want that. Nope. Um, TDW, do you want, um, only the warnings and errors or do you want all of it? Or the Philippines? <laughs> That's not related to your log report. Oh, okay. Well, I sent you the log report. Okay, let me restart the game then, guys. Exit to desktop. And now we'll start taking a look at some of the uh, other PDX mods exclusive maps. Let me move Skype over here. Okay, gonna dip now. Need to finish some stuff for Skype so it's ready for tomorrow. All right, have a good night, TDW. Peanut, the only reason I would ever want to move to Australia is so I can listen to the accent every day. But I already can get that from you. So why move? I was born in the Philippines in Manila. I was adopted in America uh, when I was like one. Back was in 1983 when we were on vacation. We were living in Singapore. Oh, that's cool. Um... New game. I was good. I was contemplating kick, clicking on paradox mods and seeing if like what happens when like when it loads up. But I think we'll just dive straight into the new game. Okay, so we're gonna look at the oh what happened? What is this? This is a new one. This is the same error I get with um the landscaping tab. I think. Um, I want to just clarify something for anybody who's in chat and sees this stuff and is like, wow, um, 
this can happen because of the ju the mods. It might not be PDX mods or anything in Colossal Order's fault. Um, this could have to do with the mods specifically that I'm using creating this error. So I just like to skim through it sometimes and see if it like flags anything very specifically. But it, I don't see anything that points me in the correct direction so far. So I'm just going to hit continue. Um, okay. Uh, Seattle. There is a Seattle map. Where are we? What is it actually? Is it just called Seattle, Washington? I don't, oh, it's Seattle. Okay. Seattle V92. The Emerald City. That's it. The whole description. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's dive. Let's take a look at this. Oh, whoa. Wait. So the height map actually... This height map data is super detailed if it actually has buildings. What the heck? That one's for the Lexo landscaping tools. What the heck? That's kind of interesting. <laughs> okay. This is a PDX Mods exclusive Seattle height map um, that will be available at launch, I would assume. Um, wow. I don't remember this being on Thunderstore. This is on Thunderstore? Um, one of the cool things with this map is that there is, like, a golf course. So they actually went through with uh, the Surface tool and made, like, a little golf course. It's, you know, it's kind of interesting because they took, like, the manicured grass and made that the, like, actual driving part. And then they took the putting green and made that, like, the smooth grass. I, I think that's really unique. I really like it. And they got the little driving spots back here. Oh, this is actually really cool. <laughs> little, the water bogey. Wow, that's cool. I wish that the game allowed for some blending so, like, this didn't seem so sharp. But I guess on a golf course, it would be sharp. I don't know. That's it was Vancouver. Yeah, the Vancouver one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean with the Vancouver one. Uh my wife is Filipina. We have a house there. Oh, that's cool. Your entire road system is there for you to follow? That's I mean, like, that's another thing too. Like you can just like literally grid it out and do a one to one. I don't know how the height map is in terms of the in-game lot sizes, like up for a one-to-one -one build, but that's still sick. Yeah, I mean, look at that, man. I kind of like it, because if you don't want it, you can just smooth it. You can just go into the landscaping tools and smooth, right? Oh, man. Yeah, and you have the extended view as well. Yeah, that's really cool. Is the airport? Is this the airport? I think it's the airport. Why can't I pay my lurker tax? I turned off all of the alert stuff for today, Peanut, uh, because today is a day of education. I just didn't want um, a lot of chaos. We'll be back Tuesday for CS Tuesday. Um, I don't have the live stream um, set up for YouTube yet, just so you guys know. So keep an eye out for it. And if you need the notification for that, then you can toggle that on. Uh, I tried to see. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, two grass surfaces are separated by a fringe, maybe one yard wide. Yeah. Might try that map and see if I can follow the road system. You might be able to. I don't know. It seems like. Um, if we actually go into, like, the height map data, it seems really aggressive, but I, Seattle's a pretty hilly place, so, like, I don't know. I'm a little... I'm questioning it. I'm questioning the ability to follow the height map based on, like, how scaled it is. Um, I'm sure you definitely could, though. You, it really looks like there's supposed to be a road here. I'm curious to see what somebody can do with it. I think it's unique. I've, I haven't seen anybody do this yet, so we'll see if it's a, a W or an L. Car just went past and it sounded like it was farting. <laughs> you can see the rose here, though. That's sick. I like it. I, I like the idea of it. 
I hope it works really well. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. How are the resources? They just dump it down? Yeah, it's a lot of resources everywhere. You're gonna obviously use extra landscaping tools to just paint it wherever you want to. Uh, what's the buildable area? It's a good question. I never pay attention to it. <laughs> Whenever I look at maps. Uh, let's see. 46% is classified as buildable area. Yeah, this is a cool idea. I'm really curious to see how somebody does uh, with it. Let's, um, I'm going to buy these tiles really quickly. I want to see how big the actual grid is if we... Yeah, I mean, like, this is pretty reasonable size grid. In game, even. Uh, this is very unique. Oh my god, yeah, this is perfect. Dude, I am really excited to actually see somebody try to utilize this then. Um, I'm lurking and falling asleep. Is been 24 hours. P Pina, it is 4 a.m. there. What are you doing? <laughs> Um, yeah, anyways, this is cool. I'm excited to see what somebody can do with that. Um, that's gonna be sick. Alright, what were some other, uh, Paradox Mods maps that we had downloaded? Do we have any? I did not get a lot of sleep last night. I'm surprised I'm still cooking. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think I'm, like, starting to, like, starting to break mentally. <laughs> okay, we got Cloud Bay, Wind Molten Delta. Um, is that everything that we, uh, the Magnolia County was already up on Thunder, so I was just testing to see how it would take a Paradox mod map and, like, um, do that. So, like, you can enable and disable them. Uh, on Thunder, if anybody downloaded maps on Thunderstore, you'll know that, like, they downloaded them as, like, a local file and they injected them into your folder, whereas the mods were, like, kind of kept separately and, like, not, they didn't inter interfere with the game when you didn't use Thunderstore. However, the maps were put directly into the folder for local maps. So, um, the way Paradox Mods works is it doesn't do it like that. You have to have the map enabled in order to make a new map on it. Once you make the map, you don't need the, the, the mod, or the Paradox Mod map file for it anymore. Um, but yeah. Oh, Owl. Yeah, we definitely gotta check out Owl's map. Um, I think I don't know if that's how that works though now that I'm thinking about it. Let's take a look. So if we were to start a new game. Can I find Owl's map? What is its name? Sort of the U, right? I think it I don't see it. Okay. Hold. So if we go into Paradox Mods now and I turn on Owl's Bay. And we go back to new game. There it is. Now it's there. Okay. So that's how that works. Um, so you can just toggle it on and off. With Thunderstore, it was just permanently there. It never goes away. So, um, I've not played CS2 in about 90 days. Uh, Wait, uh, wait, I missed a mod. Oh, wait, it's in your mods. Wait, let me go back up. Hold on. It's in your, it's disabled in your mods folder. Yeah. So then that's what I was testing. I was testing, um, to see if toggling it on or off, um, you know, did what it did, but I've not played City Skyrim soon about 90 days. Show them that players not put up with this crap. Um, I'm in the 
game's in a, I mean, it's, they're making strides. They're doing, they're doing things right. I think now. Was launch state pretty bad? Yeah, I get it. I get why you're frustrated. Um, I think it's getting there. I feel like it is, at least. Um, also, your, I don't feel, if you're going to do a, a protest of some kind, don't buy their DLC. Protest with your wallet. That's how you hit companies. Don't protest like by not playing the game like that. They, they already got your money. You already bought the game. Um, unless you're playing it on Game Pass, obviously. Um, so don't buy the DLCs if you're mad and you want to um, stick it to them in some way, shape, or form. There you go. Did mom, did mom ever let you out? Did you? Um, did you let her out? Question mark. Let's see if she did. Ultimate package of two weeks. Uh, the DLC season, then they promise. Wait, the first part, they have seven days. Wait. Um. I'm confused. Anyways, let's take a look at Owl's map. This is the first map. I haven't showed this off yet. Maddie showed this off on the official live stream. Um, this is Owl's new map. This thing's sick. This is a cool map. This was the first, like, new map I saw when I first, like, looked at the game. So, like, this is the one that kind of caught a lot of people's eye because it actually utilizes custom map tiles. So, this is something you've been able to do in City Skyline since the game came out. Um... If we actually look up map tile in the add object menu, you can actually manipulate these. A lot of people don't know that, um, but you can manipulate them and move them around. You could do this before too. Uh, map makers just haven't utilized it. I don't know if it's like they have the ability to manipulate them beforehand. Um, I don't know if the new map editor allows for this, um, but yeah, so. Uh, this map has it, and it's very cool, um, as you can see. Uh, I have a save on this, but I want to show off a blank version of it um, so far, uh, so you guys can get kind of get the gist of this map. This map's sick. Um, it is very cool. Oh, are we using tree controller now? I think we're using tree controller now, right? Yeah, I don't know what these errors are. Um, they, they keep popping up. I can't, haven't been able to figure out what they're related to. Um... But um, we have tree controller now, so that's sick. Uh, very happy with that. Let's take a look at the new palm trees. Hold on. The nice thing is with tree controller, I'm a little disappointed by the amount of palm trees as well. I think a lot of people are. I don't really feel like the four palm trees is like that big of a deal at the end of the day, but... Um, in terms of, ah, there's only four palm trees. Um, I would have liked some, maybe some bushes, to be frank. Uh, on the flip side though, with tree controller especially, we can place the baby versions of some of the trees and use them as though they're ferns, which is nice. Okay, so here's all of the tree versions in their life cycle. So we have baby, uh, teen, young adult, adult, dead, right? Um, the dead versions look really cool, actually. I really like the dead versions. But here we are. Those are definitely the most unique ver dead versions of any of the trees in the game. And I think I, I think the palm trees like lay uh, well for that compared to regular trees, I guess. Because it's like regular trees, it's just like, well, they just don't have needles and leaves. Whereas like palm trees, I think they can be a little bit more creative with it. Um, maybe. But anyways, yeah, you can use this as a fern if you're using tree controller, obviously. If you're playing vanilla. You have access to paradox mods now, so do it. <laughs> um, unless you're on GeForce now, in which case, well, I don't know what to tell you. Um... Yeah, these are the trees. So uh, what are they called? So we have coconut palm. This left one's a coconut palm. This is a Florida palm tree. We have a royal palm and then a Sylvester palm. 
And they also have descriptions for them as well. So the coconut palm trees are palm trees that produce fruit, widely available to use, such as cooking, cosmetic beverages, native to tropical regions, the Florida palm. Um, Florida palm trees. Uh, oh, I saw that. It's going to come through. There it is. Thank you for the donation, Gino. I appreciate it. Um, I will get caught up on chat in a second. I just want to get through all my brain thoughts real quick while I have them. Um, Florida palm trees are large palm trees that have been planted throughout the tropics and subtropics of ornamental trees, or as ornamental trees. Um, we have the royal palm. Royal palms are usually planted as ornamental trees and also used for lumber. They are native to Central America. And then we also have Sylvester palms. Sylvester palm trees are flowering trees that produce fruit. I wish they flowered. Like, I wish they had, like, a flower. Maybe during different seasons. Oh, we should definitely take a look at these during different seasons. We're going to do that after this. Because um, we're in spring right now. This is the spring version of the trees. Um, it produces a fruit which is used to make beverages and the fruit preserves. They're native to South Asia. I wonder what what's the fruit? <laughs> Sylvester fruit? I've never heard of this. Um, all right, let me get caught back up. I started playing City Skylines 2 uh, only about a month ago. I always wait a while before... Uh, wait. I always wait for a while because I know new games usually have a lot of kings to work out upon initial release. Yeah, I, I, I do feel like this game should have launched in... When it launched, it should have said early access. I, I firmly believe that. Um, and I don't feel like a lot of the frustrations would have been... Um, I don't feel like there has been as many frustrations with the game. If it had explicitly stated early access, I think people would have maybe thought differently about it or expected different price ranges, but I think it still would have probably been um, a little bit more transparent about what state the game was in at launch. Um, but it's getting there. I think if they had released it now, exact, like if they had released the game in October exactly as it is now without the early access tag, I don't think, I don't think it would have been met with as much uproar. Oh, well. Can we boycott the content pack? I mean, you can. If you bought the Ultimate Edition, it doesn't really make sense, but... Um, uh, the DLC came with the Ultimate Package. Uh, Beach Properties, they were to release it in fourth quarter. They delayed it. They promised the DLC that they paid for the first quarter. First quarter ends in seven days. Yeah, it's not coming. They, they, they have the new roadmap. It's coming in quarter four. Uh, the, the, you mean the, you're specific, wait, you, so you're specifically talking about bridges and ports, right? Bridges and ports is coming in quarter four. Now. I think it's important that they release the beaches DLC to just say like, Hey, we didn't steal your fucking money. Here's your DLC. Sorry we're falling behind um so i'm glad that they released it but yeah yeah that that's that's coming out in quarter four now um i think the another interesting thing is that like the paradox mods beta they got their timeline right for it they did like in one of the dev diaries they were like i don't know if we'll hit it they hit it so i guess that's a good thing that's a good thing for like assuming that it will actually come out then. Um, let's hope it does. I hope everything stays as is. Um, okay, let's take a look at winter and see if anything changes here because we'll start to see the trees change color here and you'll see the leaves fall off because we are using. Um, we are playing the game currently with. Um, tree controller so tree controller allows for a lot of variability in the trees so like in the winter we now have trees that lose leaves i did hear for some people that the very early access of the game had this feature um in the game so uh i think more funding honestly i don't know um i don't think uh, funding's not the issue um i think a lot of people just think that you can throw I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm, 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 um, I'm, um, um, they all died. It looked like, yeah, actually it does. They're all just adult dead trees that could have to do with tree controller though, to be fair. Um, 
So that could be a tree controller thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know because we're using the mod. Let's change it to we saw it in spring. Let's see what that looks like in autumn. Um, where was what was I saying? I was saying something about uh the funding. Yeah, so like they're not gonna like throw they can't. It, this isn't like a problem they can just throw money at, right? Because you could hire more people, but then what are you gonna do? Fire them? Come like down the roads? I think that's a little um ick icky. <laughs> if that makes sense like uh to just like hire people on and then just like let them go like i guess you could hire them as contract workers but like you also have to integrate those people into your workflow and that also takes up time and is that cost effective to do to just spit out a a, a solution faster um it, it's so i don't necessarily know that like it's a money problem i don't think it ever has been a money problem i think it's been Colossal Order is not as big of a team as a lot of people think it is. And it, it turned into a time problem where they tried to do too much and then bit themselves in the ass is what it kind of feels like to me. Um, so, um, and then you get contracts for like, the game needs to come out X time for Game Pass and then it don't get there in time. Uh, or you release an unfinished uh, a game that is maybe missing some of the features so that's that's my thing that's my thing with that <clears throat> uh anyways this is what they look like in the fall they don't really look any different so let's take a look at what they look like in summer See if it changes anything. See if anything changes. Might not. I would I would doubt if something I would doubt if something would change. Unlike it does with the uh Because the pine trees don't change either for context. So pine trees don't really change between seasons either. It's just the uh carnivorous trees, right? Or deciduous. Deciduous are the ones that use their trees, their leaves. So it's it's just um yeah, it's just those. So um the coniferous trees don't. And I think pine trees are coniferous, so or palm trees. Yeah. And then we already saw what they look like in spring. We saw what they look like in the winter. Yeah, they're not gonna change. Um, okay, so we've tested that at least. It's good to know. But anyways, these are the trees. These are their variations. If you're using tree controller, I would definitely suggest using tree controller. Um, use Yen Yang's color variations. It makes the trees pop a lot more. Um, disabled tree growth. Deciduous tree dead model during winter, um, which is pretty nice. Um, let's turn that off. Let's turn that off and then test and see what they look like in the winter. I'm curious. No, they still die. Really? All right. Let me get caught up on chat now. Um, is D Properties a DLC or an asset pack? Technically, it's a DLC. It's not an expansion, though. It is just an asset pack. It's all DLC, I think, right? It's all downloadable content. Um, but it's not an expansion. It's assets. Live this DLC as it came out with a pre-order in the ultimate package. Yeah, it's all DLC as far as I understand it. Palm trees don't change that much during seasonal change. Why did this one die? fascinating i think that maybe is like a bug i'm gonna assume this is a bug with yen yang's tree controller um this shouldn't have died trees also don't grow with tree controller so like um what's this the third tree and this was supposed to be life cycle stage two okay there we go let's make sure that's the case 
Yeah, so that's all part. So they die in the winter as part of tree controller. Interesting. So if we go back into tree controller now and turn it back on, all of these or these uh, fall leaves will f will go away. And in theory, these should also all die. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't think I want it. Well, I guess that makes sense in a way because if I'm making tropical map, I don't really want my trees to lose their leaves, I guess, in the winter. So I don't think it's that big of a deal, but interesting. Threshold temperature and only die at certain temperatures. Yeah, that is how it works, Sunrax. Yeah, that is how it works. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's... No, no, no. I'm pretty sure it's seasonal. Auburn Hills. That's a real place in Michigan. Wow. I think I... No, well... I don't think it, I don't think it is by temperature. I think it's by season because these ones are losing their leaves too. And like, it's 50 degrees. So... That's weird that they die and grow up. Yeah, they die as they're grow up. There probably isn't a dead baby version of all of the trees, if that makes sense, right? Like, there's not a dead teen version. There's not a dead young adult version. And there's not a dead adult. Or there's only a dead adult version. That's that's how I think it... I, I think that's how it works. Um... It has the bones, it just needs a TLC. I think that's the that's the thing. That's the thing with the game, right? I think it needs a little I think it needs more time to cook. It needs some time in the oven. I think it'll get that time in the oven though, if we uh Yeah. I think that's just how it is. I think that's just how it is. That's a kind of unfortunate. I don't know. That's a that's a tree controller thing. That's not a base game thing, so I, I don't really want them to die in the winter, but I, I feel like it does make sense, right? Because I don't think I'm, I'm I, I don't know enough about, I'm not an arborist. <laughs> I don't think I know. Anyways, uh, that's the that's the palm trees. This is all mod related stuff that we're looking at anyways. So it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, this map has cool customizable tiles. That's what I wanted to show off in this map. It's a very cool map. It's got really cool height maps. If we go into the actual height map view, ignore the error, that's a mod. Um, you can do some really easy flattening in here. Um, something I noticed when I was playing on this map that this flat area is the same height as this road. So you can actually just flatten this entire central area if you want. Or no, wait, I'm sorry. It's this area. Sorry, it's this area. This side is the same height as this side. So you can flatten this entire area if you want to. Or you can like gradually slope it out if you want to be able to build in here or just build around the terrain. However you want to do it. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting though. That they did it that way. I think that makes it really user friendly. A DLC is like a major expansion to the game. Would that not be an expansion then? I see the way I always think of DLC is DLC is all downloadable content. <sighs> so like everything that you download as an extension to the game is a DLC. Need to bounce great content. Hope your channel continues to grow. Thanks, Gino. I appreciate you popping in today. Thank you for the $20. Really appreciate that. Taking that money out of your own wallet and giving it to me. If you ever... Listen, guys. One thing I really want to push as something with PDX mods here, and I'm going to stress it constantly, and I'm going to use Move It as a good example of this because Cuboid's a fucking sweetheart. Um, Where's Move It? Did I scroll past Move It? Where's Move It? Move It. Um, Paradox Mods does allow for direct links to modders, PayPals, and Patreons, much like how you've just given money to me. If you guys ever feel it in your heart to give the money to the modders who make this game as good as it possibly can be, I would definitely, um, I would definitely consider giving to these modders who make the game great for us. So, um, and then they also allow subscription links to their Patreons as well. <clears throat> which is really cool. A DLC is like major expansion. I would see, I would not consider uh, only major expansions 
um a, a dlc i would consider everything i mean like what does steam classify steam classifies everything purchasable as a dlc which i think is the I, in my opinion i think that's the correct way to um go about it it's all downloadable content but like is it just a dlc or is it a major expansion and i think was it just elbow was talking about this when he was talking when he was like promoting the new cyberpunk dlc the what was it project phantom liberty um he was like it's not just a dlc it's an expansion right and so expansions are supposed to be like big content whereas like dlc can be little things too at least that's how i've always thought of it um um, and seen it referred to as, at least. DLC and asset, uh, and the assets not DLC. Yeah, I think the city's community has come up with their own language for it as well. Um, that is a fair point as well. Where I think the, the, the language is the same thing with mods too, yeah? So it's like you have your Paradox Mods workshop, right? Where like everything is technically a mod. It's all mods. But, you know, like co there's code mods and then there's assets and then assets are broken down even further, but they're all like asset mods, right? Um... So, like, to me, like, everything is a DLC, like, whereas everything is a mod, but they have, like, subcategories for all of this stuff. That's how, at least how I've always referred to it as, with other games especially. Um, so, especially because, like, Steam is also labeling it all, labels it all as a DLC. I'm, I'm going to refer to it all as DLC, because it's all downloadable content. It's all extra stuff. But yeah, the major expansion is ports. That's the big one. This is an asset pack. And we don't even need to say DLC when we talk about any of this stuff. We know, like, we can just say assets, right? This is all very nitty-gritty. Let's get back to what this update is. PDX mods. Um, all right. I do want to do one more. There's There was one more map, wasn't there? That we had looked at... Which one was it? We're arguing semantics. <laughs> Let's not do that. I wouldn't say we're arguing. Um, There was one more map. So there was this one, which is a really nice map. It's super nice. I'll knock this one out of the park. I would consider this like a, a really high quality um, map i don't know how other way to describe it it's a good map uh we need to look at clites mods still too somebody did ask for that which we will um wind molten delta and cloudy bay let's take a look at those wind molten delta and cloudy bay let's do wind molten first because i saw it down here wind molten bay wind molten delta or wait delta De bay Delta. Wind Molten Delta is, by Uncle Ron is based on the landscapes of Wind Park Kramer in Zeeland, Netherlands. You'll have plenty of flat fertile land, water routes, and potential access to 360 megawatts of offshore wind at your doorstep of your city. Cool. Oh, shit. I think I still have the override for climate. Okay. Hold. I might have borked it a little bit. <laughs> I think a lot of people bought into the ultimate. Which I think is why there's probably a lot of frustration about the game when it came out, especially. This is a cool map. All right, so this is the entire height map view of the area. Obviously, it looks pretty flat. It's the Netherlands. It's not going to be super hilly or anything or mountainous. Um, so there is that, but uh, this is pretty cool. Let's go continue here. Definitely has some terrain changes. Like It's not like it's like a raw flat. Um, the terrain change isn't very aggressive, but it's again, it's based off of a real-life place. I can't ask for like or demand 
<laughs> uh, for a map maker to like go in and like, no, you need to add elevation to all this. It's like, yeah, some people like flat stuff. Um, and I think this is great. This is a pretty big area. It's based off a real life place. Uh, pretty good adaptation, I would say. Interesting infrastructure. Um, I like it. Lots of wind turbines. Cool highway coming through here as well. The reclaimed land in the Netherlands is always really cool. Um, lots of room to expand. Holy cow. Yeah, there's just a lot. A lot you can build in here. Um, if you're intimidated by working with elevation changes, I think this is a really good map. Really good map. Really flat. Different areas where you can build on too. Like this is already built for a highway interchange. So if you're using um, 529 tiles mod, those of you who don't know, you can actually click on this and go uh, to select initial starting tiles when you download this mod, and you can select the initial starting tiles, which is great. JOA! Thank you for the $20 as well. You already gave me money. You didn't have to do that again. I appreciate that, though. Um... I think expansion changes the game the way the way the game works in some way. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like like campus DLC in City Skylines one, or um, industries. For sure, those are expansions for sure, for sure, for sure. Thank you for hanging out, JLA. I appreciate it. Also, thank you for the uh, the Discord boost. I also appreciate that. I did see that. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that. If we can get to tier three on Discord, I can have a custom URL, which <laughs> would be very nice. <laughs> so I don't have to have the ARJK stupid URL. I can just make it like discord.gg slash Kodiak Kodiak. Um, Roadmap calls bridges, imports, and expansion. Beach properties, assets. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what they call it on Steam too, right? Asset pack. And then we have content creator packs. So I, I did we even do we have like an asset pack for City Skylines one? I don't remember there being like an asset pack, quote unquote. There was content creator packs, but I don't remember there being an asset pack. Are beaches a thing now or no? Uh yes and no. They've always sort of been a thing if you use surfaces, which you can go in here and find sand sand surface this is really rough forgive me so they've always kind of been a thing um i guess you need to be more specific at how much you are expecting from beaches uh for me to give you a clear answer on that The creator pack would be third party. Yeah, I just don't remember getting an asset pack in Cities 1. What was what would have been an asset pack? Because I feel like everything was a content creator pack, wasn't it? Create a beach where you place them? Oh, no. No, they do not. Um, they are definitely like beach-esque homes. This is a cool map. Let's move off this map. But this is a cool map. I like this one. Nice and flat. Uh, if you like flight, flat maps. Uh, realistic place. Good inspiration. Interesting utilization of uh, resources. Very scarce amounts of resources. And then lots of uh, fertile land. Cool. Very scarce. Scarce resources on this map. That's the challenge. I like it when like map makers... like make a challenge sanctum gamer does this a lot with his maps where he it might seem really easy in one aspect but some aspect of the map is going to be difficult in the challenge um whether it be like uh traffic or um growing your city out a specific way or gathering a certain resource um so i always appreciate it when like you know this might be really easy to build but it's not resource rich i like stuff like that so um okay what was the last map it was cloudy something cloudy bay
Just added to the boost. Thank you for the boost, guys. I do appreciate that actually a lot. Free asset packs at the beginning of City Skylines 1, like Pearls from the East? Oh, yeah, that would have been it. That would have been it. There wasn't a lot in that, though. To be fair, I this is definitely more... It's interesting because I think this is as content-dense as, like, a, a, a content creator pack, which was more content-dense than those. So, um, this is uh, called Cloudy Bay. This is available also on um, Thunderstore. Or not Thunderstore, sorry. Paradox Mods at launch. Um, we can see, so we got some fields pre-planned out over here. It's kind of nice. Let's take a look at the terrain heights. Um, very flat. Very flat map. Very flat. If you guys like flat maps, some people really like the flat maps, and some people are, like, vigorous. Like, they have, like, hatred in their heart for anything this flat. So, <laughs> I don't know what side you guys fall on. But um, this is a definitely like a slow sloping map. It's kind of nice. This one's a little bit less aggressive. This feels custom made. Really cool extended areas as well. I do like that. I would venture a guess and say that this is 100% custom made. Based on like what I'm looking at here. Like there's no height map taken from inspiration I don't think. I think this is all like handmade. Based on what I'm looking at at this point. Which I think is pretty cool. I love that map, so don't start with a cold sack. <laughs> yeah, you just have like this one on-off ramp right here. That's your that's your starting tile. Is there any other like pre-built on-off ramps anywhere? No. We got a few free asset packs with a lot of roads. Yeah, that was like the free LC, right? Because like City Skylines 1, and they said in City Skylines 2, will contain free LC, which is free um, DLC content. Um, they've specifically referred to it as free LC as well, I think. Um, so it'll be free update content that comes with every single update. Um, uh, so like PDX mods, I guess, is like the maybe the free LC for this, but like, as we know, like we received all the free trees from Mr. Mason, right. in one of the updates in the previous game. So they did say that that will still continue in city skylines too, that, um, updates will usually have something free with it as well. Um, whether that's the case for this one, I don't know because they are like tr playing catch up at this point to try to get PDX mods, asset importer, all that stuff kind of like buttoned up. So like, who knows what they have time for and what they don't, because you know, people who are making the assets aren't the people building PDX mods. So who knows? I don't know what's going on. Different departments. We'll see how it goes. Have you downloaded and or downloaded Magnolia County, uh, County map for City Skylines 2? I did from Thunderstore. I also downloaded it from PDX mods. Um, they both work. On the new update. If you have a save, if you guys are concerned that you've already started a city on a map that you got from Thunderstore, um, once you make a save on that, it is no longer tied to that new game file. So don't worry about those cities. I, I've, I've seen some confusion on that um, on like posts online. So I, I want to make sure you guys are, are cool with that. Um, that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, this is a cool, nice flat map, open, pretty, lots of buildable space. If this is right up your alley, this, I feel like this is the perfect, this might be like a perfect starting map for a lot of people. There's a little bit of a challenge on this starting tile, right? Like that's the challenge here is like, you're starting like based on this, like kind of interesting Delta split right here with the river. Um, but otherwise, uh, I think this is a really nice starter map for a lot of people because it's got a lot of flat buildable land and you can expand out a lot. Um, like this would be like a really good vanilla map even. Um, let's take a look at resources. Plenty of ore up here in the hills, a little bit down below. We have oil surrounding this river. And then we have lots of fertile land up in here. 
and we also have some groundwater deposits along the river and in these uh, basins of some kind. Um, yeah, that's the way I would kind of judge this map if I were to. Um, I think this is like a pretty decent beginner map. Uh, or if you just want to build really big and have something flat with like some nice scenery because these mountains are pretty nice and I think they're handmade. So yeah, pretty cool. I like that one. It's my favorite map. I have a giant city on it. Yeah, Phil made a really good map for his first map. He did a pretty good job with that one. Well, it's not his first map, is it? He made something for City Skylines 1. First first map for City Skylines 2. He did a really good job. Um, how long are you going to continue this streaming? You've been streaming for four hours. Okay, so for, for context here, I normally stream for a minimum of six hours when I'm live. Um, however, today I am going to end a little early, sometime probably soon-ish, um, because I, I have a family dinner I have to go to. Uh, but normally I do stream for a pretty long time when I stream like six to seven hours is usually my length when I stream and I would stream for longer However, I am married with a wife and a dog who need me <laughs> So I can't just like be a degenerate every day um, How dare you have a family? Welcome back J15 <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How was your week J15 without my content every day? I'm going to start a new series on this map. I really like it. Might add some more height to that valley, though, beforehand. Yeah. I think, Mike, I've become more of a height enthusiast on maps as of late. Like, I like I like having height now. Um, some people don't. Like, and then if that's your thing, that's your thing, you know? Like, I'm not here to, like, shit on maps um, by any means um, or, like, what everyone else likes in their maps. Um, I just know what I like. And, uh... I like, I'm liking those hilly maps a lot more. And I know what I like in this map, too, and what I think it could be tailored towards and the type of people who it could be tailored towards as well. Somebody who wants to build, like, a really big city and doesn't want to do a lot of terraforming, this is a perfect perfect map for you. Um, So, anyways, there was one more map, right? What was the one more map? Wasn't there one more map? Was there one more map? Was that it? Anybody remember? As long as I can level it. <laughs> I just joined your Discord. Welcome to the Discord. Why am I like this? Welcome in. Uh, I mean, I manage. Just listen to more music at work, I guess. I was really hoping you'd say you were lost without me, but that's, you know. Okay. All right. Take what I can get. Clay straight. Oh, the transport mod. That's what we're going to do. Yes, 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 yes. That's what we're going to do. Okay. All right. I'm going to load up my first city I had made. All right. Lake Dunlap. Uh, save 05. This was the first city I had ever made in City Skylines. I did this as part of a subathon. So we did a subathon for the launch of City Skylines. Uh, I think we were live for like, what, three days? I had to get like work after the three days. So I had to like end it early. Um, I was lost without your stream. I couldn't even function better. Yeah, that was much better. Thank you. Um, so this is the first city I had made um, after the game came out. Um, I didn't have early access to the game at launch. Um, so this is my first time having early access in City Skylines. Um, so this is my first city. I, I did. We did a lot of learning, a lot of growing, a lot of understanding the mechanics. It's not perfect. It has some charm, though. You know, we have these, like, nice little cute islands, right? Uh, all this was vanilla aside from developer mode. So when I load into this map, if I load in with mods, it's the first time the save has seen mods. Um, also, I have not booted this save up since November. So there's a lot of updates that have come with this. <laughs> um, just so you guys know. Um, it is also a flashbang because it's in winter. So, um, so you guys are going to have to deal with that. Do you have any tips for to roads? My city keeps having very bad traffic, even on the highways. Um, lane mathematics. Biff is always right. <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't say that I'm perfect with managing traffic either. This will get so clogged up here in a minute. Um, a lot of that has to do with this building and how it like completely changed how it functions, the cargo train terminal. Um, but I can't say that I'm always the best with traffic either. My suggestion is try to create as many ways for pedestrians to get from point A to point B 
versus cars. So like if you notice you have tra uh, traffic problems first, try to figure out where they're going and where they're headed to and try to create a different way for them to do it other than cars. Um, but you know, when you have an off lane, remove the lane, add a lane. When you add a lane, add an extra lane to the road for a while, then downsize it so they can get back in. Um, follow lane hi road hierarchy. Have arterials, have collectors, have local roads. If you don't know anything about that, City Planner Plays has a great tutorial video on how that is um, for Cities 1, but it works for City Skylines 2 as well. Um, that's about it. I mean, it's kind of a case-by-case -case basis, like why your city has issues, you know? So, hi, Brucey boy. Uh... Oh, one more lane, bro. Oh, yeah. Please, bro. I just jump from Canadian Moose plays. Oh, did, did Moose just uh, end? I saw Moose really liked the beach asset pack. More lanes. J15 is a lane queen. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a better thing to say there, and I couldn't. <laughs> Uh, are you enjoying Move It? Uh, to be quite honest with you, Brucey, I haven't had any chance to play the game. <laughs> since since I got access to Paradox Mods, I haven't been able to play the game. I've spent 100% of my free time making videos. <laughs> so, like, I don't... I, it, from my testing, it feels good, but I haven't practically used it yet. So... <laughs> Uh, we're going to use it on Tuesday, though. CS Tuesday, this Tuesday at noon Eastern New York City time. Um, we'll be we'll be live here on YouTube and Twitch, and we'll be actually playing the game again. Um, so, yeah, transport mods. We're going to check out the transport mods before I end the stream. Don't worry. Uh, I'm making a county, just like one, bi uh, one big city and then villages surrounding it. I split up the county uh, between Mexico and the United States of America. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's like the Rio Grande kind of deal. So, like, one side's like... Mexico inside Texas. That's pretty sick. I like the concept of that. Especially if you get down to like detailed assets and like have like Spanish stuff on one side and then you have like English stuff on the other. That's really cool. If they would give me a 26 lane highway, I would upgrade my computer and get the game. <laughs> yeah, like they did in the mod workshop. God. Dude. <laughs> 26 lane what was that what was that it wasn't it wasn't it like an 18 lane road in city skylines one in the workshop if you weren't using the road a tdw's like road builder it was like a i think it was an 18 laner i think that was the most i had seen or maybe it was 16 lane i don't remember <laughs> um anyways let's take a look at clites mods so let me uh go into paradox mods really quickly um i don't have too much time more so we got to be fast guys uh, before I gotta get off. Okay, so extra UI screens. What's the hot key to actually access this stuff? Um, this was a mod that existed on Paradox Mods for a while. Or not Paradox Mods. Um, it's Control Tab. On uh, Thunderstore for a bit. Clyte took it down. Um, it's back. So we could do Control Tab to activate the UI. So down over here now you can see extra UI screens. It's always faded. So you know it's active, but um, so you open it up, and then all of Clyte's mods are going to be in this interface. Um, you also have your like access to your date and time over here now as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, no, no toll state. Uh, I don't think there's toll stations. IRL, anything over four lanes breaks my brain. Driving on I-40 in Oklahoma City feels fucking surreal. Like there's too much space. Yeah, I think I agree with you. I think I can agree with that. Doesn't mean it's not coming, though. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll be in a DLC. <laughs> um, anyway, so we have addresses. For those of you who didn't use this before, uh, the really cool thing with addresses is that it will... Uh, you can have, like, different generators for names for stuff. So, like, people's names, roads' names. You can create, like, your own custom set. Gamoose! Great, baby! Yeah! yeah! Canadian Moose plays rated my stream with 92 views. Now it's really clear. Got a major problem here. Moose, 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 welcome in. 
Moose, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Moose, I'm not going to be live much longer, so your viewers are going to get tossed off to somebody else here in a bit. Welcome, everybody. My name is Cody Eclectic. I make City Skylines 2 variety content. Moose stole that from me. If he ever says that, you hear him say that. He's a dirty thief. Um, I also make news content for City Skylines 2, where we do all the updates and news and stuff, and I've been a busy beaver boy this week. Um, bear boy. Busy bear boy. Um, making content for all of the new stuff. We're currently looking at Clyte's mods right now. Um, I'm trying my best. Hi, I'm Thief. Yeah, we'll hear Brown say it. I am Thief. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Wow, accusations? Yeah, we do big accusations around here, Natalie. You've been around here before, you know. Uh, I want to build a long wall in my cities. <laughs> yeah, the Great Wall. Uh... Uh, we're going to get what? What? I don't know what you're talking about, Q. I actually don't know. What did I say? <laughs> hey, welcome in, Raiders. And first time chatters as well. Coming over from Moose's Raid. Not the wall, yeah. I think I've showed off just about everything at this point that I can. Um, anyways, we're looking at Clyte's mod. This is addresses as names. So what you can do is you can create your own, like, custom files for, like, name generation so like if you want like a spanish city and you're like an english content creator you can um input a custom generator and like have all spanish stuff or german stuff or whatever or just add names from your community to like the um automatic naming systems for the game so like districts as well um you can also uh do toggles like use the district name as the station name for the first station of each modal so for example if you make like a town area and you call it like uh los santos GTA. Um, it will be Los Santos train station when you place it. Tommy! Um, so that's how this works. This existed on Thunderstore for a while and Clay took it down. So now it's back with PDX mods. Um, yeah. Excited to mess around with this. I haven't done it yet. Um, another really cool one is the uh, Clay's extra transport manager. This is the one that I'm trying to get to. Uh, before I end my stream, but you can see a ton of information about them, right? So you can see how many buses, how long they are, colors. You can go into city palettes. You can import a palette. So we can click here to import. So let's say I want to import a uh, USA palette. I don't know if these are um, working. So color palette settings. So yeah, shit. Um, is this... There we go. So USA, New York City subway. Uh, you can click to copy. So I want to copy, let's see, Chicago CTA. So now I've copied that. Here we go. So now we're in here. City import name, Chicago CTA. Randomized color. So then we can import this one. So it's the Chicago CTA one. Then we can go over here into the color palette settings and we can change it. So then all of our lines will be recolored to match the Chicago um, CTA stuff. Hard to show off um, really quickly like this, but that's how that works. Um, so those are the districts. Oh, did I do the districts on accident? No, maybe, I don't know. We'll go back and look. Holy heck, holy heck Q. Cuboid maker, move it. Everyone give Cuboid love for giving us move it finally. Look at this, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Oh, look at that. It even breaks a train line. Nice. Did you show off any maps, specifically owls of the dope new tile sizes to unlock? Yes, we did. We looked at all the maps that I thought were not people testing things because there's a lot of maps on Paradox Mods right now that are people um, testing things. Yeah, so we've always been able to do that, Moose. Um, see, here's the problem now, though. I accidentally hit exit on the home screen, so I can't show you object menu. Um, so, uh, just nobody's taking advantage of it. I don't know if you couldn't take advantage of it in the map editor, but you could do that on your maps if you open the object menu and type in map, and you should have a map tile option in the object menu. And then in there, you should be able to adjust them. I don't know if you could do that in the map editor until just now, but yeah. Now we can do it legitly in the authentic ed editor. Yes, in the authentic editor. Yes, authentic. <laughs> Uh, they haven't told getting toll plaza to pay toll on highway. No, we don't have anything like that right now, Larry. That looks cursed. Yeah, I mean, but you can. It's not, you know, it's a bad example of me of it. 
you know, you just move nodes around really easily after you place stuff. That's kind of the benefit of it. That's that's the good thing about move it. You know, you can move trees around after you place them. Buildings. Everything great. How many monitors do you have? I have six. JK, I have two. Uh, four. So I have four. I have three for my streaming computer, and then I have a monitor for, or I'm sorry, gaming computer, and then I have one for my streaming computer. Um, I do use all three. Uh, I am a video editor by trade, and I do use all three when I'm video editing. So, but they said moderators. Oh yeah, no, I have like one of those, uh, two maybe, if they feel like showing up, um, <laughs> and even if 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 they can. <laughs> For monitor gang, that's what's up. That's what's up. Who'd be a mod on Twitch, dude? L nerds. That's how I feel about my mods. <laughs> Notice how they're not in here. Just saying. Just saying. Parasite Interactive Twitch channel. No, no, we don't talk about that. No, 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 we don't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> anyways, that's Clyte's mod. Ned, welcome in. I have two monitors and that's enough. <laughs> Bunch of power hungry neck beards. <laughs> uh, yeah. I want to be a mod. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's, uh, that's, I think that, I think we hit it. Did we hit everything? Did we somehow hit everything today? I'm a noob compooper poser. <laughs> if I was a mod, it would be move it. Yeah, what City Skylines mod would you guys be if you guys were a City Skylines mod? That's what I want to know. That's a good question. Um, for those of you coming in late to, from Moose's stream, I will be live here on YouTube and on Twitch again. I'm live on YouTube right now, but I will be live on YouTube and Twitch again on Tuesday for CS Tuesday, which is every Tuesday we try to be live here playing City Skylines. Um, on both platforms. On Twitch, we're live a lot more than just on Tuesdays, but I try to be live every Tuesday on YouTube at least. Playing City Skylines 2. It's a new thing. Trying out. Um, so yeah, we'll do that this Tuesday as well at noon Eastern, which is New York City time. So, do energy drink reviews. Do a lot of fun stuff. Um, so yeah, that'll be this, uh, this Tuesday. If you guys missed anything from today's stream, you guys can go back in the VOD on Twitch, or you can go on YouTube and watch over there not watch over there but um you know it's easier to view stuff back on youtube and it stays up forever so files dmca <laughs> uh i'm proud of you and your move in or your mod in all ways proud <laughs> I have a weird goose virus thing on my PC. How do I get rid of the new PC? It's less than one years old. I have no idea. I don't know what a goose virus is. Um, network multi tool. Network multi tool is great. Um, the maker of network multi tool has a lot of their mods kind of up. Um, I don't know what their plans are for network multi tool for City Skylines too, but they do have um. Or no, not I'm sorry, not a lot of their mods up. I take that back. They did a dev diary. That's what it was. I'm, it, it, we're, we're losing track of the day here. My brain's mush, guys. I, I, I don't know. Can I, can I say that enough? <laughs> that I had a busy week? <laughs> um, they did the dev diary from, uh, the other day on code mods, which was really good. And I really hope that you guys go and watch that YouTube video of mine that I made on that dev diary, because I think it will provide you with a lot of insight into modding and how Paradox mods came to be, um, and everyone, if we understand a bit more about modders, what goes through their heads and how Paradox Mods works, I think it'll um, put us all in a better position to understand the game better. And have a lot more compassion for modders, which is always good. You know? Uh, oh, wait. So no launch day stream tomorrow? No, I, I, I can't. I have to work tomorrow. Sadly. I would love to, but um, I can't. So CS Tuesday is, is what we'll be doing here. What's your thoughts on the assets in the Beach Properties DLC, specifically on the NA theme? The NA theme assets are stellar. Very good. Big, big fan. Signature buildings? Um, 
They're good. I like the big mansion for the signature buildings. Oop, a lot of people in here. A lot of people, TDW. I thought you were leaving. Back to your work cave. Back! Uh... <laughs> I have an ad wall live. Wait, what? While I'm watching live? Oh, yeah. YouTube has like built in ads to live streams. I don't know how any of that works. ADHD finished one tag. Now back to watching Twitch. Can't control. Yeah, true. Okay. Big, big relatable. Big relatable. Big relatable. Um, what's your favorite season and map in City Skylines 2? Personal favorite map? I don't know. That's a hard one. Um, top three are probably, um, Anoki by Rafterman NZ, Cape Kelvin by Riri, and, uh, Spring Valley by The Realtor. Those are my top three, I think. I think those are my top three. It's hard. It's really hard to pick. Dude, Dunlap University is kind of a vibe. This is my first city I ever made. Uh, we just figured we'd pop it open um, and, like, take a look at the extra landscaping tools because this is vanilla. I know it works, right? Like, I know this one didn't break with the update because this was 100% vanilla city. Um, so this was the first one I had made. Um, Dunlap University went kind of hard. I liked how it ended up turning out. It looks a lot better in fall. Autumn. Autumn is by far the best season. 10 out of 10. Uh, can I clear snow? Hold on. Where's the clear snow button? Mm -hmm. So there we go. Ugh. Uh, did you know that TDW upgraded his data so less than 360p? You did, TDW? I didn't know that. You never told me that. Had to agree, Autumn is the best season. Autumn is the best season. IRL, too. I'll die on that hill. Um, eh, For me, at least. I get, I get too hot in the summer. Do you have the map that only people who pre-ordered to these kinds of have? I have it. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, anyways, guys, I hope everyone like kind of enjoyed today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are from Moose's stream, I hope you guys enjoyed Moose's stream. And if you came from like my stream, obviously, I hope that you guys had all your questions answered that I could answer. Um So, what map is this? This is Lakeland. The vanilla map. This was my first city from the launch. Um, so, uh, performance seems from everything I'm hearing, this patch, uh, improved a lot of people's performance. Um, and, uh, Phil said from his testing, I think, I think somebody said that from Phil's testing, it improved a lot of Phil's, uh, like, like, uh, the rig he was using for benchmarking the game, it, a lot of the, there was a lot of improvement. So, um, that's cool. Big fan. Big fan of that. So, if you guys were having performance issues, um, you might see a lot of gains in this update. Who knows what that means or, like, how much in terms of gains, but um, you should see a lot or at least a decent amount. Um, is Lakeland's one of my all-time faves. I wish that the weather wasn't as winter-focused on this map. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I really like this map. I also liked this area too, because I tried to make it like more like Pacific Northwest, just specifically in this area. Oh God, the traffic is so bad. Uh, I haven't booted this up since like the beginning and the way traffic AI is like different now and like how buildings function and like actually like work now is completely crippled by infrastructure. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about winter. <laughs> City skylines. 
to so far. I like it. I want to have it on. I just like, I don't like how it adds like the blue LUT to everything. I think if like that wasn't in the winter, I think I'd like winter more. Uh, dude, the water doesn't freeze in this game. Imagine having a frozen lake in your city. That would be really cool. That's a good idea. Actually, frozen water would be so sick. Oh, uh, cities three. Cities three, guys. We'll get frozen water. Copium. Uh, I would prefer the maps that have winter with a minus three. Oh, yeah. Minus three Celsius. Yeah. Yeah. Because then it's not, it's not like as snowy, right? Like you get it, but you don't get that much. Um... Still feels like the mail stuffs might be borked. I don't know. I don't know. We're not allowed to share the patch notes, so. Um, yeah, not much I can say about that. I feel like I'm like I'm like kind of just trolling around right now because I feel like there was something else I wanted to show off, and I'm trying to remember it, but my brain's too fried to remember it. I think I'll just have to do it on Tuesday. Because I think I'm out. I'm out of gas, guys. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. <laughs> also, so that doesn't help. <laughs> so, energy drinks wearing off. We're crashing. Uh, yeah. Or I like to call California in a nutshell. <laughs> That's fair. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, we showed off. I showed. I think I showed off everything. Is there something I missed? I mean, in the options menu, you can control mods from in here, but we could do that on Thunderstore as well. Um, Badger, Badger, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. I don't know. Why, well, I don't think the alert's going because you didn't have enough viewers. Badger, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Badger, for everybody who doesn't know, Badger, Badger is the reason why I have my 3080. Um, <laughs> Badger had gotten himself a 3080. And then um, got the email from EVGA for the <laughs> Badger. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, got the the pre-order. Right. Yeah, got the pre-order for the 3080 themselves, and they were like, "Well, here you go." So, anyways, I gotta dip, guys. I gotta dip. That was great. Um, a great day. Uh, I I hope you guys got something educational from this. Um, I hope you, I answered all of your guys' questions. Um. I'm excited for Paradox mods. I think it's it's in a a decent enough spot. I hope they work out some of these bugs with like stuff not appearing sometimes. Um, my top five. I think I think if if I had to pick three mods for what was it five mods for you guys to download day one. Um, I think having Skive just on your computer in general is is useful for the updates outside of the game, regardless of whether or not you use it. Just having it and launching the game through Skive is useful for that purpose specifically, um, regardless of whether or not you use any other aspect of Skive. Um, move it, obviously, obvious, obviously. Extra landscaping tools um, is a great one. Anarchy and probably Tree Controller. I think those are probably my top ones. Um, if you guys want stuff. Uh, oh, line tool is another one. Maybe six. Okay, we might have to put in six. Revo! Welcome in. Did I make another stream? <laughs> Very nervous for tomorrow, but cautiously optimistic. Yeah, same. Same. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of boosts. Did we get a lot of boosts? Are people boost in the server? Everyone who boosts the server, thank you. JLA, thank you for getting us to fucking tier three, level three. Custom URL! Yes! Yo, JLA, thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. If you guys aren't in the Discord, join the Discord. I put all my schedule in there when I'm, like, making new videos and stuff. Um, We do Discord subscriptions. We do a lot of cool stuff in the Discord. So join the Discord. If you have Discord, join my Discord, please. Join my Discord. Join my Discord. Join my Discord. That's, like, how hypnosis works, right? Uh, let's find someone to raid. On YouTube, the stream's just going to end. <laughs> that's how that works so uh thank you guys for all the follows today thank you guys for everything i appreciate it um we're gonna find somebody to raid right now -sies. um who's maybe also doing city skylines 2 content hopefully i think that's a good way to go otherwise um 
we might raid Jedi. <laughs> uh, who's playing Project Zomboid, but is also a City Skylines content creator. Raid Cuboid, yeah. Yeah. I think we'll raid Jedi. It's not cities, but um, if you guys don't know Jedi's, Jedi has some really good City Skylines 1 tutorials. Um, obviously, a cities s creator. He does a lot of other stuff, too. Um, great great guy, also. Um, really friendly community over there as well. Sorry, I just finished my 24-hour stream over on Mixer. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um anyways uh for those of you guys uh wondering i will be live on tuesday noon eastern another stream should be a good time thanks for hanging out today guys i appreciate it uh let's get that raid going here on twitch i gotta head out to a family dinner so um let's get that going starting that raid up have a good one everyone thanks for hanging out streams should start picking back up here again sometime within the next week or two um corporal project slowing down so um that's good got another busy week but then after that should be pretty good um blame the deer man <laughs> have a good evening have a good evening everyone on youtube as well view candy wait is view candy live on youtube is view candy live on youtube If if YouTube people want to redirect, I can I can redirect to somebody on YouTube, but on Twitch it's gonna it's gonna go to Jedi. It's gonna go to Jedi. No, she isn't. Oh, okay, damn. I was gonna say if she was, I could totally redirect you guys to it. Um here, I will uh, I'll put a link to Imperial Jedi's stream. If you guys are subbed raid and sub raid make sure you guys copy this if you guys are subscribed you can use the regular raid if you're not subscribed or you can use the sub raid if you're not subscribed you can use the regular raid uh we're gonna change that raid message too with the new emotes we got we got two new emotes on the channel too for switch which is super sick anyways have a great weekend guy rest of the weekend guys uh, rest of sunday at least and hopefully enjoy you guys enjoy the launch tomorrow bye everybody